Going live. You're live. Well, we're live. Apparently, <laughs> <laughs> that was. Um, looks like we've got a delay on there. What's yeah, there's a bit of a screen? delay. I don't know. Can anybody hear us? And can everybody see us? <laughs> Your face. <laughs> we've got a delayed picture here. We've got an excellent connection, apparently. Robert Pike, hi guys. Hello, hi, Bob. Rob. Brother Bob. <laughs> We've got a rotten delay with our uh, screen here. Can you everybody see and hear us okay? Can you hear us? Can you hear us? Can you see us? Anybody? It's working. Hello, friend and Rich. We can see your messages. We can't see the image. We're about um, 30 seconds behind on the image that we're seeing, so it's a little bit odd. So we might just have to look at the uh, messages at the moment and uh, catch up with you. But thank you all for joining us. Welcome aboard. Laura Maisie, I nearly said Constanza. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of lovely names coming up that we've known for so long, three years, some Laura, of you. Laura yeah. Coates, hello. Bob Pike, hello, Bob again. Uh, Lisa and, Percy Wolf, yay! <laughs> Rick and Deb's in Idaho, North Idaho. <laughs> hello. It's uh, great to see so many names that um, we see every day in our comments, and you're here again. It's lovely. Hi, Eileen. Mr. Smokehouse Six. Oh, hello. That's a name, isn't it? Yeah. Where does that name come I from, Mr. Smokehouse Six? <laughs> Dutch Matchstick Afloat. Hello. How are you doing? Gaz Lab, perfect, thank you. Johnny Smith, Sherlock Holmes, hello from Birmingham, all right, Sherlock, how are you doing? <laughs> oh, come on, never mind Birmingham, we want some Londoners. Any Londoners out there? Any Cockneys <laughs> to keep me company? Loads of Americans. I'm going to have to bring you closer because that's... Um, I'm on my tea. I know. Oh, that's better. See, that's that's I can read the comments a bit better now. This is uh, age for you, isn't it? Hello, guys, from Amelia Island in Florida. That sounds uh, gorgeous, doesn't it? Amelia Island. I think our friends from across the sea, from the America and Canada, are going, we've got so many people tuning in from America and Canada at the moment. So, um, well done. Thank you. Named an island after our granddaughter. Amelia, yeah. yes. Who, who we're knew? going to see for only the third time next weekend. Which Did is you be get Super Chat... I saw that comment come in. Yeah, I think Super Chat and Super Stickers are available for those that wish to. Uh, found you guys recently, but loving your content. Thank you, Natasha. David Bailey. Oh, we're honoured. David Bailey. Photographic royalty. Is it me? Please let us know if you are the <laughs> David Bailey. <laughs> Hello, David. <laughs> Click up down. Oh, Steve Hoare. Hello, Steve. How are you doing? Oh, yes, we remember that little meet-up we had with you yes. three, three years ago. I hope Sue's okay. Yeah, yeah. Celia Johnson, Olympic Peninsula, Wishkar, Washington. Wow, good good addresses people have. No, it's not the same as Narrowboat Laura Maisie's somewhere on the Canal Network, is it? I, went, I wonder if Lynn Moore, <laughs> Lynn Moore, if that's her name, wasn't it, from Australia? Yes, Are you yeah. still there? She was staying up, trying to keep her eyes open, waiting. Wake up, Lynn! <laughs> Wake up! We're here! <laughs> Both the St. Bernards are sleeping. I oh, didn't get Look me go back to see her there. Is that? The rabbit smoking a pipe. Where do these people get their names from? <laughs> I always have real trouble getting names for things like that. I end up with, well, Franny Poo is my most imaginative one, isn't it? <laughs> uh, Lisa, St. Bernards are both sleeping, so oh, let's Lisa. do this. Yeah, come on, come Lisa. On, Lisa. <laughs> get some questions coming in. Come our, on, folks. Um, our dogs are both sleeping. They're under the dinette, and they get a bit confused when we're doing stuff like this because they think we're talking to somebody, but we worried that they were going to be up yeah. here. We might be able to show you them later on, but they're both. They love this dinette, and they just sleep under here all the time. Their bed's hardly been used, is it? Maggie B it's... in Illinois. Uh, hello from Tennessee. Our oh, Wisty. Greetings from Oxford. Hello, Anna. Don't forget Gloucestershire. Look, is that Gloucestershire, England? Because yeah. there's probably a Gloucestershire in yeah, Canada is. and everywhere else. So uh, not far from us. Then. Hello, rabbit smoking a pipe. We've mentioned you, haven't we? Oh, You're in Nantwich. Go. Rabbit smoking a pipe. We like Nantwich. Nantwich. Thank you for the super chat, Rick and Debs in Idaho. Thank you very much. Oh, lovely. Thank you. And Mr. Smokehouse, thank you for yours too. <laughs> and also Dutch Mastic. Thank oh, you very much. Cheers. 
Hang on a minute. Yeah, I don't I think they can see. You're going to have to lift it up a bit higher. Look. Cheers. Yeah. <laughs> We're on the hard stuff tonight. Yeah. Coca Cola, and um. Mugs are available. <laughs> <laughs> this one's not English. What have I got? Tea. Earl Grey, of course. Yes. <laughs> Well, it's taken us, what, nearly three years to do this. When did we do the first live stream? It's going back over two years now. Two years in March yeah. just gone. So long, yeah. long overdue. And um, we've been pushed and prompted by the foxes, haven't we, to do a live stream. Yeah, so this others. is great fun. We've had um, a few moments today. In fact, Rich didn't actually even eat all of his dinner. No. <laughs> Me and the dogs had to finish it because I never not finish my dinner. It's so stressful when you're <laughs> waiting to click that button to go live. You see, is it going? Is it not going? Yeah. And now the screen is about 15, 20 seconds behind. So uh, I'm not going to look there. Lalette uh, Coates says, as we have your, had your dinner, well, I think I've just answered that. We've had, but, yeah, we've had it wasn't early anything dinner for exciting us, yeah. tonight. In fact, we were really naughty and we had just a supermarket pizza, didn't we? Yeah. Because we just wanted to get everything Quick ready and here. And peasy. No um, but what was the comment? What did you say about the pizza? Not as good as yours. Is we haven't ever? done pizza. Would it ever be? Well, yeah, he has to say that, doesn't he? Hello, Jeff. Jeff Pike, my brother. My twin Hello, brother. Hello, Jeff. Hello, Maria. Uh, Mandy <laughs> Casson. Hiya. Pasta flaps. Should I really have said that? I don't know. Pasta flaps. Can you pasta Hello. Down our Hopefully, road? you're enjoying your new narrowboat. We are enjoying our new narrowboat. It is stunning. Elton Moss did a great job, and um, yeah, that's all we can say. Yeah, really. We're really yeah. enjoying it. It's, uh, we had a, a it's couple of little really well. issues today. One was a little problem with the chimney, and one was we weren't sure about the solar, and they've come out to see us today and hopefully fixed both things. So it's it's just been a different life, isn't it, completely, and we're still adjusting to it, still yeah. getting used to it. Steve Goodyear, hello. And the doggies, how are you guys doing? Myself and Mrs. G and our cocker pups say hi from down the river. Hello. Oh, yeah. Oh, I down did, the river. Yeah, doesn't he live by the boatyard? Just oh, Steve Goodyear, he and, does. He's Northwich. really, yeah, uh, yeah do, yes. I think. And so, if we got it wrong, sorry. <laughs> yeah. When we come back that way at some point, Steve, keep your eyes open for us. Alan Glass, hello, mate. How are you doing? Hello, Alan. Uh, Dawn, no, wine needed. Well, uh, we <laughs> can't lie. <laughs> Dawn. We had a little libation before we went on air just yeah. to steady the nerves, but we are yeah. on the soft drinks while we're doing this. Yes, yeah. It's a school night after all, isn't it? We Sean's know. Rambles. Hello, Sean from Crystal Palace. See, Londoner for you. Yay! Wrong uh, side of London, I have to say. How I love the South water London. rippling. I oh, know, is it South London? <laughs> how I love the water rippling behind you. Uh, oh, that yeah. Sh that's. Barry Stevens, hello Barry, yeah. how are you doing? It's, it's, that's a lovely thing that you often get on the boat. So those who have never been on a boat, you often get the rippling right across the ceiling, don't you, from the water. Uh, sorry, I'm trying to read <laughs> chat, listen to you. I'm a man, I can't uh, do two things but at you once. you do, it's lovely. Sean's allotment garden, hello <laughs> buddy, hello, how are you doing? Oh, good, to, gosh, good to see Sean. you. I'm having trouble with my... Um, my plants it's been so blooming cold isn't it oh it's been awful it's just, awful may uh, um, absolutely awful sean we need you here i'm struggling coriander's nearly dead the tomatoes are only that big the basil's only that big we need help uh lisa percy wolf trevor's travels and foxes afloat are both here oh blimey foxes are here oh, i no. haven't seen their comment yet and trev hello trev hi trev how you doing uh, Trev came from um, Chicago, didn't oh, you've he? Got a good memory. Yeah, yeah. Yes. yeah. How long has he been about? on his boat? A couple of years, I think. I now, I think that. I don't think it's been that long. Has it not? No. Anfield Road layout in the loft. Hello, mate. How you doing? Your neighbours are taking over the channel. What are they? Where are they then? Are they on here chatting away? Foxes, behave yourself. You must have better things to do than sit on our channel. We've we've had a few meetings with the foxes. A few slices of cake oh and, uh, my coffee. god i've got to say that sean's cake if anybody has seen sean's cakes they they uh, taste 10 times better than they look they are fabulous foxes afloat can you keep the noise down next door <laughs> frank can you get the uh, generator going <laughs> yeah <laughs> but no i've got to say sean's cakes are fab and um yeah if you ever get the chance on your lovely walkies is there any wildlife that you need to watch out for storm bug mosquitoes 
<laughs> well, we were watching. We were watching. Um, cry, cry, I was going to say Crime Watch. Then, <laughs> Nate, what's it called? Uh, Spring, Spring Watch. Watch. And apparently, chiff chaffs that come all the way from Africa to uh, have babies over here build little nests on the ground, don't they? I so, think they meant dangerous things. Oh no, nothing dangerous. We don't. <laughs> But I mean, what am I saying Chim- is when we're on Chim- our walk? Yeah, but when we're on our walks, the dogs are here, there, and everywhere, aren't they? In yeah. the bushes, and we, that's something we really we've ought got, to be. So we do watch the dogs. Careful. Um, yeah, but there's, we've got nothing dangerous over here. We do have adders, actually, don't we? But um, yeah, it's it's we're really really appreciating spring this year, and cows, of course. You have to always look out for cows. Julia Hartley, hi Julia, how Hi-Julia. you doing? Great to see you. <laughs> Are you going live? So, oh, you won't. It's not Monday, is it? It's so Wednesday. Not, oh, it's no, Wednesday, yeah. no. I, I, you should be watching the other side, Julia. You're going to get into trouble. <laughs> uh, you guys, Foxes and Well Deck, are all in the same area. You should do a live joint broadcast. Or a oh, joint that's broadcast. a good idea. Rick and Debs in North idea. Idaho. That is a good idea. But um, no. <laughs> <laughs> It takes, I'll tell you what, it's bad enough getting this organised for one, isn't it? Let alone three of you. <laughs> but we might meet up for a little um, a little recreation at some point. Dave Smith, Tiller Handle Dave here. Please say oh, hi to Dave, Dave and Diane. How you doing? Dave and Diane, are we still are on your case? Yeah. We haven't forgotten you. Don't panic. The thing is, our Tiller Handle's glued in. So if we have a Tiller Handle from you, mate, I've got to drill it out. And uh, But I will send you the dimensions and we'd love you to. We uh, have a bit of a problem at the moment with our Tiller Handle, don't we? Because we've never had a Tiller Handle before. So we take it off when we moor up, bring it in the boat, because as yet we haven't got brackets to hang it in. Start the engine, untie the ropes, and then realise that we haven't got a tiller handle attached every time. Yes, still. Uh, Vobesy isn't on for another 40 minutes. Let's make the most of it then. Thanks, Julia. (laughs) Joy Brown, we love Rich's tea cake. Would highly recommend the recipe found on website, really. I mean, thank you very much. Thank you for that. Yes. It's so easy, though, isn't it? Even I could do it. So, Yeah. uh, yeah. Thank you. Trev's Travels by Narrowboat, Julia Hartley Moonlighting on the wrong channel. Mm. Do you fish in the canal, says Frank Smith. Um, we often get asked that, but it's you. people do fish. We don't fish. People do fish in the canals, but you can't. It's not for eating. It's just for sport because the canals are yeah. too unclean. Um, so, yeah, but we're not we're not fishermen, are we? So Definitely not. So, uh, Vobe Show. Hello, Vobesy. Where's How are you doing? <laughs> Is he there? He's there. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> if anybody doesn't know Richard Vobes, he's got a great channel. He does all sorts of stuff. He does your nature. Your nature. He does your architecture. Your history. And your history. Uh, On cool. all walks, English walks, English yeah. countryside. And if you're missing England, if you're expats or if you're just interested, it's a lovely channel, The Bald Explorer. Is it? Richard Vobes. Richard Vobes. Explorer. Oh, he does so many bloody, so many things, doesn't he? So he many does. channels, but yeah. have a look out. It's lovely. Stormbug, hi from Idaho. How are you doing? Anybody got any questions? Any big questions about the boats, about canals? Just throw them in. Which canal have you not done yet that we'd like to go on next? That's Lynette, Lynette Coates. Thank oh, you. Lynette, I hope your boat is okay. These people have just bought an old, old boat. Um, and it looks Beautiful fab. Engine. We must yeah. meet up at some point with yeah. a proper chuk engine. So what canals? There is one canal I really want to do, and we're going to head that way, uh, get there up for the winter, and that's the Leeds-Liverpool. goes over the yeah. top from Leeds to Liverpool. The, the name is a giveaway. And uh, I love Yorkshire, so I just really want to go up there and uh, see Yorkshire again. But I think we're going to possibly head south for a bit we've not seen family for so long over lockdown and they are all in the south of the country so we're going to head a little bit south see people and then go up to leeds liverpool mark bond do you magnet fish uh oh, we've yeah. stopped yeah we've stopped. We do. We've got, there's only so many nails you can drag out of the canal mate we it's, still haven't pulled that safe out with a it's quite addictive isn't it i had to go to try and fish a chimney out once but then realized it was stainless steel after an hour it was never going to come out <laughs> foxes afloat <laughs> omg have you had a shave since we saw yeah. you earlier look yes, can you yes. see <laughs> <laughs> you too richard that's what i got you there oh <laughs> How many canals have no locks, Sue Smith? Hey. Um, oh, my God. The only canal 
uh, the Ashby Canal doesn't have any locks, and that's quite short. I don't know how long it is, 20 miles maybe tops. But the um, Lancaster Canal, I think, doesn't have locks, except for if you go on one of the branches, I'm not sure. But yeah, and that's 40 something miles up to Lancaster. Somebody's asked, where's that comment? What's the framed picture saying behind us? I can't think who asked that now. I can't see it. But it says, a room without books is like a body without a soul. So that, that's apparently it. That, was, that was said by Cicero. Yeah, good answer. I wasn't Cicero. sure there were books around in Cicero's time. Scrolls well, that and manuscripts. Parchment, wouldn't it? Well, yeah. yeah. Anyway. That's true, actually. Uh, the Vogue Show. How much are you selling a new boat for? Ha ha. <laughs> it's still having work done on it. Um, so we're taking advice from the boatyard. Once they've finished tweaking a few little bits on it, they will give us some advice of what boats are going for at the moment. So. Mr. Smokehouse Six, how many horsepower is your motor? 42. They might be slow horses. They might be old nags. They're not. It's really powerful, actually, it's isn't really it? It's, powerful it's taken yeah. us by surprise. Somebody else said we're getting used to it, and it is. It's taken a little bit of time because, you know, tick over for this boat is what full speed was on the last <laughs> one. <laughs> it is. Yeah. Uh, three wheeler. I agree. Oh, the Lancaster Foxes doesn't have any locks. Sorry, rabbit smoking a pipe. The Lancaster Canal doesn't have any locks. Yeah. Greetings all. I was in a meeting. William Hartman. Well, that's just not good enough, frankly, is it? <laughs> nice to see you, William. Thank you. Lynette Coates, have you got enough shelves for all your books? Never. We've got loads of books in storage in lock up. We've got more books um, on this boat to read, let alone getting any more in, haven't it we? It doesn't stop us getting any more in, though, does it? We just keep going. We so. do. We do indeed. It's uh, fine. Uh, Penelope Woodwalk. Woodwalk. Woodwork, woodwalk. Hi, Penelope. Thanks for dropping by. From Fran, where do you purchase your supplies for weaving? Are you able to find local supplies as you travel? Um, I do. I'm a big sucker for charity shops. And in fact, the last time we were in, I had really good quality wool in the charity shop. I've got some lovely, lovely um, pure wool, lovely stuff. But I've started um, buying stuff in from local spinners. Or when I say local, it was Wales and also some Shetland wool from the Shetland Isles. And it's costing me more and I might have to put the prices up of some of the stuff because I'm buying really good quality wool. So it's either that or it's charity shop recycled stuff, really. So, Julia Hartley, you're both looking fantastic. Laura oh, Maisie Julia. is doing you tons of good. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Matthew Pike, hello, it's the Pike Matty, Show. Matty, hello. Hi, Auntie Fran and Uncle Rich. <laughs> was one of the foxes wearing my scarf. <laughs> oh, no, you wanted grey and black, I think, Matt, so I'm working on that one. <laughs> Heather Angel Light, Fran, I really want to get one of your scarves, but they always sell before okay. I even get the notification. Beautiful we work. These well, three. They're up on the website tonight. They went up about an hour ago. So Oh, I can't even work out. This what this is a uh, one that just hangs around your neck like a cowl. Um this was I think Sean's one or Colin's one, and that was Sean's one. They well they're both on the website now. Um on www.floatingourboat.com. Um but yeah, I'm getting back into the swing of weaving, aren't I? So you there'll are. be more to come soon. Don't worry. That's enough blatant plug in. <laughs> what was it asked? <laughs> <laughs> I was asked. Steve Hall, did you manage to see Otter the other evening? No. no I'm fan, fan, sad to say we didn't, know. We keep looking out. I'm watching all the time. But, um, no, we think we may have heard them, but we've not seen them. Alan Croucher. Hi, guys. The vids are so interesting. Thank you. Thank you so much. We try and do a little bit of variety with our videos, don't we? But, yeah. Um, we like to get off the canals and explore around. Um just started today, the next video today, didn't I? But there's not much content, so we've got to go and uh, do some stuff. We've got a lovely town nearby with a market on a Thursday. So I think yeah. I'm going to drag the old boy up there tomorrow. Got some big bargains last week, didn't I? We're still eating apples and tomatoes. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get right down. Wesley loves Oktoberfest, don't we all? And thank, thank you. you very much. Oh, Cheers. I'd love to do an Oktoberfest, yeah, you know. Yeah, those are the days, that would eh? be what do you mean those were the days? Well, when you could travel abroad and oh, do things yeah. like that. Oh, yeah. We've not done anything like that. That would be a great thing to do. Adrian Crouch, a great sales pitch. That's one thing. 
<laughs> she should be an Avon lady. When is your walk, Rich, London to Brighton? That's Patricia Gasser. Hi, Patricia. I'm doing it this weekend. It's uh, a Saturday through the night and finish on Sunday morning. It's 100k, 60 miles. Doing it with my daughter, Claire. And um, we're doing it for charity, mate. And uh, really looking forward to it. I can't wait to, to do it. Yeah. So, um, yeah, it's going to be a test because it's a bit lumpy in places over the downs. So um, looking forward to it. Really looking forward to it. Robert Peckham um, from Michigan says he'd love to see a programme about the weaving. We have done a little bit of weaving on the odd video, haven't we? Yeah, and, we can... uh, yeah, lots of people ask, I mean, maybe we should just do a, a little video just about that. And if people want to watch, they do. And if they don't, they don't. It's up, you know. Yeah, we, should, we keep saying we're so, going to do it. So um, I'm no Thank expert, you, really. But yeah, Robert. But yeah, perhaps we'll do something and show you show you a bit more. Yeah. And who else have we got out there? Hi from Panama. GBPA. Did not. that Hello, did not. GBPA. Hmm. Kelly Nye, floating our boat mug, arrived this morning. Hey, nice one, Kelly. You know it makes sense. <laughs> How do they keep the canals clean? Well, the water itself is 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 continually moving through locks, etc., and by washes and runoffs from rivers into the canal. Uh, in regards to plastic, it's one of our big bugbears, isn't yeah. it? Stuff that floats around, particularly around towns in the canal. But I have to say, Canal and River Trust do their best, don't they? And we always pick up when we see stuff floating in the cut that we can get hold of and uh, on the towpath and put it in the right bins. But, yeah, it's a continual battle. It's rubbish. Yeah, it is. Dubai Dozen, please put up your Just Giving page so we can sponsor you for your walk. Thank you very much. I'm going to do a special little uh, video just on the walk. It'll go up shortly after we do the walk, and there'll be a link in the bottom of that for anybody that wishes to donate. The charity is Farley Hospice in um, Essex. Uh, charity really dear to my heart. Somebody, Jules Swaringen, would like to watch Rich Paint put a canvas oh, up. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> I'm very shy about my, my art. Um, I've never, I, I, don't, I don't feel I'm ever good enough, but uh, that, such is the way I am. SKD, hi, Fran and Rich. Penny and Simon on the narrowboat Moonwake. Been on the water for three weeks oh, on our wow. new swan boat. Took the plunge after watching all your vlogs on our way to Bath on the K&A from Lim. Wow, that's fabulous. a journey. Yeah, fabulous. That's Lim on the Bridgewater, I take it. That is your oh the K and A is just a good canal. Yeah, isn't it? it is. We love the, the well, we've loved so many of the canals, but Kennet and Avon is really, really lovely, really peaceful yeah. and yeah. Have your gangplank yeah. ready. Yeah, you might need that. Patricia Gasser, will you be adding a cratch cover on the world deck before winter? Uh not at the front, Patricia. We're gonna probably put a cover on the back. We love the way the front looks without a cover on it. And uh, the main access in and out of the boat is the back. So, yeah, we're going to get a cover sorted out for the back. And um, it irks me to say, because I hate them with a vengeance, pram covers at the back of the boat. But for practicality it's, reasons, it makes sense. We're it? managing OK at the moment, but I just have got the feeling that if we get really wet and really or snowy days, because the doors come straight into the kitchen, it's going to be a bit messy, isn't it? I think it, you know. Yeah. Um, we've been a bit precious about the boat the last few oh, weeks. We're getting are. better now. But the, I've never dusted and cleaned so much as I did in those first three days. <laughs> uh, my good friend Steve Davis, who's there. Hi, Steve. Hello, Steve. Hello, Jenny. Hey, Jenny. How are you doing? He's uh, uh, he's a, a fan of the chamois lever, isn't he? Is he? He used, oh. to, used to get out and clean his car in the rain. Yes, I think you were actually vacuuming at the groves for the cover for the engine bay on the first day. It was. <laughs> Carol Donkin, what made you go with the boat builder who built your, built your new boat? Well, we actually reversed into their yard for a pump out. Yes. And we were actually actively looking at boats, um, but we had didn't intend to go and have a look at their boats for some reason, but um, we got hold of them and we were just wowed over. Yeah. by their 
the quality and the style of the boats. And initially, the, the price was right and the timing was right, and it just happened that the shell was there. Yeah. And we did like the boats, and we don't regret it for a minute, do we? It's, Not at all. You know, we're Not really, really all. happy. So. Yeah, it suits us down to the ground. It's just a beautiful boat. Darren <laughs> and Julie Amphlett, will you ever do the Ribble Link? You both look happy with the new boat, yes. And yes, <laughs> we fully intend doing the Ribble Link um, within the next two years, yeah, probably. Yeah. yeah. And Marcus and Deborah, thank you Deborah, very much. Mark. Um, have called us Dickie and Francis. I don't know where they get this from, but it's Dickie and Francis now, uh, but hi. <laughs> Nice new uh, logo, you're okay, by the you way. You too. Yeah. Love your logo. Yeah. Brilliant. Does it get cold on the boat, and how do you wash? <laughs> and what toilet have you got? <laughs> We're not going there. <laughs> uh, don't forget to wash your soffits with the sponge, Richie. Rich. Top tip, Steve. What are soffits? The white bits on above your house. Uh, yeah, it's, a, it's a story. Oh, is it? <laughs> uh, Fran, best reverse mooring ever, Steve. It was. That was. She's she's yeah. so good uh, at uh, controlling the boat. I was going to call you a helmsman then, but you're a helms person. I'm not, yeah, I can't be a man or a woman, can I now? Hi, Tay from Mississippi. Uh, B Art Design. Hey, hello, Derek. How you doing? And Lise, enjoying this little soiree. Impressed at the walk, Rich. I'm happy if I put on my undercrackers without pulling a muscle. Looking forward to getting into your new logo. Thanks a lot, mate. I'm looking forward to seeing it. Hello from Arizona, Francis Yamchuk. Hi from the Wirral, Anne and Alvin. Hi there, how are you doing? Hello. Uh, here we go. Heather Angel, like, what does the sign on Fran's left say? Can I take that down? Is that on a sticky, is you that can, a stack up? Yeah, you can Hang on a second. pull it. Don't pull too hard, the wall might fall down. Now I can't see what you can see now, but I'm hoping you can all see that. No. We might have to lift it up. So it's like delayed, it. isn't it? Oh, we're yeah, on a delay. Oh, so I think yeah. you might. There we go. <laughs> I'm going to hold it here for a minute because we're on a delayed video here. We don't know what you can see. But this is it. We picked it up in a shop in Ludlow when we lived nearby. And, um, yeah, so there you go. That's our picture. Today's world. How did the boat builders react cope with your changing additions? They did really well. Um, oh, hang on a minute. Someone at the Do door. <laughs> We've had trouble lately. Like, hang on a minute. We've had a bit of trouble Excuse with the locals me. lately, and uh, I hope that's not untoward attention. Uh, trips with Tom. Hi, Tom. How you doing? Great to see you on here. Love you guys in Ohio. Find me a single woman to start a new canal life with. Well, sorry, mate. Uh, you're going to have to do that one on your own. I knew it was going to be trouble. I just knew it was going to be trouble. It's cookies off already. Look. <laughs> Should we go, Fran? Yeah, come on. <laughs> Do I look good? We've got a big well, delay. A Here it is. Our IT He's... consultant has just arrived. He's come and pinched my licorice all sorts. Sean's got a scar. <laughs> Should we go down the pub? <laughs> Say hello, foxies. Hello, Hello, guys! <laughs> Carol Miller, we love you from Ontario. We love you too. Right, Colin, <laughs> Colin you can survive with that delay. delay. It's a nightmare, this delay. Can I refresh it? You've got three levels of wait and see. Oh? Yeah. Oh, well, I knew that. And the average is about 20 seconds. What it means is that... Oh, hello, by the way. <laughs> what it means, by the way, is that... We'll just what discuss it IT. It's it, it a drop in your internet. It means that there's no buffer in it, just uh, kind of buffers up right to your delay, so it's quite normal. So just, we just ignore that picture then. By so, the way, this, this scarf's now just doubled in price. Uh, <laughs> hang on a minute, you've got to back to front. <laughs> Patricia Gasser, oh no, get them back to front. I fully agree, Patricia. <laughs> Teresa so McElvee. Oh. Hi, Teresa. You know Teresa McElvee. You're ruining my hair. I'm not, I'm making it better. There, look, that's better. Bye, Rich, we're going to the pub. So yeah, basically, the, the, open, the, the, the trade sees everything 20 seconds after you've said it. The trade? <laughs> <laughs> you all right, my little pretty? I am. I do I look pretty? Joy, thank I do you. Actually. Let's give you a little, a little sidey part. So this is that. what it's been like for the last couple of weeks, folks. We've been uh, chasing each other up and down the River Weaver. Who's been chasing who? Well, chase me. Who knows? Chase, chase, chase me. Chase remember me. that? You remember it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you're not brought a cake? 
No, Fran ate it all. <laughs> could be worse. Think, yeah. I could be. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> I tell you what, it's like being on a film set, isn't it? It is. It's lovely, isn't we, it? We did, didn't we? Naughty squirrel Linda T. We left the doors unlocked. She said. So, what, what do we expect? <laughs> <laughs> What's uh, he got now? You're fiddling with all my things, aren't you? I'm sorry. Stephen Handel's <laughs> currently on video thirty-eight. Yeah. Uh, Julia Hartley, who are you looking? Such a beautiful go, bunch, go, she says. Go on. Come on. <laughs> Listen, no. no, it's right. No. I'll sell it. I'll sell it. <laughs> Hi, Kathy from Kentucky. Shall we go? Yeah. I can't believe we're on holly the Kathy boat. It's brilliant. <laughs> uh, Where's Mark and Debbie? I don't know. They oh, are they've on been there. there somewhere, yeah. They're, they're in there. there watching. Nosy They're too neighbors, good for us yes. now with their new logo. <laughs> I know, it. yeah, that's it, yeah. Right, come on, we've earned us 300 quid. Yeah, yeah. Cool. cheers, guys. Thanks for that. <laughs> Super chat's going to go soaring. Well, see you later. See you later. Bye. Bye. Nice to see you. <laughs> Keep the noise down, will you? <laughs> great guys, great guys. We've had so much fun with them. It's been amazing. See you later. Joseph you. Buckley, throw them overboard, Fran, apparently. <laughs> Richard Huffsmith, wow, so cool to have the foxes pop in. He really is yeah, it's such a treat. Yeah, they're great guys, aren't they? It's, He's uh, on the side of the boat now. He's <laughs> rocking the boat, thanks. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> have they gone? I think so, yeah. I think we're Good safe. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, it's it back to normal now. <laughs> Mark Tatum, hello, how are you doing? Anybody got questions? Any questions you want to ask of us about the new boat, about the canals? William Hartman, hi, James Bagnall, whoa, just stepped away to get the Asda delivering there on the foxes, what a bonus. <laughs> can you take, Sean's allotment garden, can you take cats on a narrowboat hire? I don't know about hire, plenty of people do have cats on their narrowboats, don't they, live on there. People take their um, dogs on, on narrowboats, so I don't see why you can't take a cat. No. Do you remember when we rented our cottage out? And the cleaner phoned us up one morning in despair to say she didn't know what to do because the last people that had rented the cottage had taken their tortoise and let it free run all around the place. And there was tortoise poo and straw all over <laughs> the bottom of the house. So I don't suppose a cat would be any problem, really. But... Where are we? Where are we? Steve Goodyear, Fran, what bobbing sliders do you use on the loom? Well, I'll show you. That's the one that I use. And I don't know if there's a different one because it's a soury loom. That's the one that goes on there. That was a Bobbin specific in inquiry, there. Steve. Could you have answered that? No. <laughs> <laughs> Are you finally settling in, James Stenhouse? Yes, James. It's, it actually took a few weeks, didn't it, for yeah. us to get into the rhythm of this boat, if that doesn't sound too poncy. Yeah. It really, you know... it. it it shook me, didn't it, how yeah. different it is. And, yeah. uh, and we were a bit embarrassed to start with because we, you've said this often, that we used to go along on Constanza and think we were a bit embarrassed because she was a little bit tatty. And you know, and now we're a bit embarrassed bit because it's a edges. bit posh for us. So, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> uh, we'll soon put some scratches on it. That will bring it down a peg. Uh, Dawn, you, you could not keep a cat on the boat. Oh, People well, do keep the, cats on their boats. The girls used to, didn't they? Yeah, they used to have two um, cats, didn't they? They often have a gangplank for them to go out, or they'll get on and off, or you know. Although they did, keep... uh, they did lose one occasionally, very regularly, didn't they? And had to wait for it to come back before they oh, could move. Oh yeah, we walk them out into the fields, and they have to wait for it to come home before they could move. That's true. Yeah. Sue Smith, did my question about the canals get through? Uh, if we missed your questions, people, I'm sorry because this, this the questions are coming, the comments are coming in so quickly. But Sue, try again. Yeah, yeah. If it was about the locks, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Pammy Boyce, what careers did you both have before you started your life on the cut? Well, we both ended up working with each other, didn't we, as yeah. guard gardeners. Yeah. Um, before that, I was a sales director, which was pretty boring. You've been in medicine all your life, haven't you? Yeah, I worked in pathology originally and then was a healthcare assistant later on. Um, but gardening in between, professional gardening. And that's where we met when we were gardening. So, Are you attempting to cruise the air and colder again soon? Um, yeah, because we didn't do all the we air didn't and colder, get did to we? We had to turn it. around because yeah. of the flooding um, on the actual river air. So... Um, we would like to go back and do that, do that loop around. 
yeah. and then go up to Yorkshire that way. Definitely. I mean, Yorkshire. maybe once we've gone over the top to Skipton and Yorkshire, we'll come back through via the air and Calder, won't we? It's just uh... Tony Ward, miss you guys. Hello, Hope to Tony. catch up soon. <laughs> Big Tony. Big Tony. Okay, painter, what are you all reading now? Oh, good question. Oh, shall I get them? Yeah. I'm reading a book about uh, swallows. Uh, the guy that wrote it, whose name escapes me at the moment, also wrote two books previously, one about wrens and one about robins. It's fascinating stuff. And to think that swallows fly from South Africa every year to the same place, have their young and then fly back again. It's a, an incredible journey. So, yeah, that's... Um, I'll wait till I'm here. This is Rich's Swallow book. It's, well, actually, it was mine as well. I think I found it online. I bought it for you. He's bought it for me. It's yeah. that way, that far through. It's, it. um, it's called The Swallow by Stephen Moss. And I'm reading Shuggy Bane, which was one of the top books, well, it was isn't the it? Booker Prize winner last year. And it's it? his first novel, Douglas Stewart. And uh, I can't say it's a cheerful little ditty because it's quite harrowing. But um, yeah, I'm gripped in that at the moment. So that's me. Look at my bookmark. A handmade, hand painted bookmark by the lovely Richard Pike for my birthday this year, wasn't it? Yeah. So there you go. That's my secret. Good question, OK, Painter. Thank you very much. Uh, Matthew Newman, Noonan, have you had a chance to use your bow thruster? Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, it's my new best friend. Yes. Yes. I just love it. What did somebody call it the other day? The scream of shame. The scream of shame. Because <laughs> the bow thrusters at the front of the boat move the boat one way or the other, depending which way you press. And they do make this noise really loud, and uh, yeah. it's called the scream of shame. But I don't use it to pull off the off the bank. I tend to push it. Well, I did today because we were behind <laughs> that massive ship, and I was heading for it. Yes. Anyway. Yes. Let's see when we're going through. Life. Well, I, I haven't used it that much because I can't work out which button moves it which way. And every time I try to use it, I push it the wrong way. So it's best not to you bother, really. You can't get really. to the tiller anyway, can you? No, I haven't got to the tiller very much, actually, except for to polish it. <laughs> Heather, Angel Light live chat. Thank you very much. That's wonderful. Cheers. Thank you. Right, where are we going? Let's have a look. Uh Crazy H, I love that you show all your walks around the canals and towns, countryside, friends weaving, wildflowers, edibles, knowledge too, really great vlogs. We've, you know, it's not everybody's cup of tea, but that's our life, and we like to show the things that we like. Um, yeah, we do love the walks and the foraging, don't we? So, hope you are. Well, I'm glad, glad you like love it. The, love the walking in the countryside. It's uh, everywhere we go is different, obviously, but we're able to just pick up and move and. Be where we want to yeah, be, aren't we? Yeah. Uh, M, this one here. Sorry. M, didn't realise you knew each other. Made me really smile. Well, we've, we've known each other for a few years. Oh, the foxes, yes. <laughs> it's a live one. Green yeah, one. I've uh, said thank you very I'm much sorry. to that chat. Heather Angel Light. Vanessa Legrand. Now, who had the? Who was the pianist? Michelle Legrand. Ah, hello, my lovelies. Just double on your new channel two days ago. I adore your new boat. Simply beautiful. I have always wanted to live in a narrow boat. Problem is, I live in Cornwall. Well, you are a bit yeah. lacking canals. In Whereabouts Cornwall. in Cornwall with you? We've got a, we've got a sun in Cornwall, right down at New Quay. But um, he often says, "Why well, can't they open the canals up so we can go down there?" But. It's Darren, Darren Slater, hello, mate. How you doing? Uh, solar panels are fixed. Yes. Red is to the left. The phrase there is no red port. Left is the hell. Yeah, but power. hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Does that mean red is to the left? Does that mean the left bow thruster is working or the boat's going to the left? That's my problem. If I push the left button, does the left bow thruster come on and turn us right? It's like it's doing my head in, really. I can't do it. Just stick with the tiller. I know what happens with the tiller. Jay Shink, hello. Do you see many children living on narrowboats? You do, but mainly in the towns, obviously, because they have to go to school and they've got all the facilities there in towns. But, people uh, homeschool, though. There is a becoming yeah. more of a thing that people homeschool their children and live on a boat um, and then can continually cruise. There are quite a few people out there, and I think 
Uh, there's certainly lots of people on Instagram and Facebook. I don't know if there's any other vloggers doing it, are there? No. But there are people out there, yeah. Uh, Carol Miller, hi. Are you going to visit any more churches? We loved, we love your church visits. We love church visits as well, although we're not Christians at all, but we just love churches and the it's architecture the history, history and the sense of it and it tells you so much about an area doesn't it as well when there's you're a, actually there. a church down the road uh, from where we are in frodsham that is half demolished isn't it it is it's been turned into uh, flats and i think flats now. built at the back so i've got to yeah. get my head around uh, find out what's happened there and uh, we'll we'll video that for the next one maybe Someone above asked if you might cross paths with Constanza, Lisa Percival. Oh, well, thanks, Lisa. Yeah. Yeah, that will be an interesting time. Hopefully they'll... I'm sure we will yeah. because we've got to go back to the boatyard because when you buy a new boat, it's like a house. There are always little things that need putting right afterwards. So we need to pop back to the boatyard and, um, you know, she's she's in that area. She's there at the moment. So, yeah, that will be strange. Who said that? Voz Oto, love your glasses. And, oh, thank you. This is my secretarial look now is it thank Why you Miss James? i hate wearing glasses i hate but it's um i'm not very good at walking around in them but i need them for this so thank you theresa mcelvey the churches are very interesting to see thank you uh as she, uh, why is Teresa commenting on this? She hasn't got time to comment, has she? <laughs> I'll get your crochet. You, should, you she's stopped crocheting, crocheting for two minutes. Trips with Tom. Would you suggest renting a narrowboat for a couple of weeks before you actually go out and buy one for someone or so, someone has no knowledge? Well, yeah, I would. When we first thought about having a boat, um, we'd already got a, a holiday booked on the Norfolk Broads, not on a narrowboat, on a cruiser. Um, little river boat and it took us I think three days before I went to the local shop and came back with the canal boat magazines and said yeah let's do it we can do this it's just knowing that you can get on with the small spaces and we knew didn't we right from the beginning yeah. but yeah if you've never been on one and you've got the opportunity I would say have a couple of weeks holiday um, and not in the summer do it in the autumn winter so that you know what things are like you know yeah, that's my recommendation. Uh, well Deck Diaries, have you had any teething problems with the boat? Um, not really. We've had uh, we've got a sticky lever, haven't we? Uh, <laughs> an accelerator that's sticking a bit, but that's been fixed today. Solar panels were intermittent. That's been fixed today. So we're quite happy. We did have a noise, didn't we? And we had to phone the boatyard up about three or four days in because suddenly there was this noise like a whirring, humming engine noise. We couldn't work out what was going on when all throat. It was coming from the engine. And uh, eventually we phoned the boatyard and poor old Dan spent 15 minutes going through this list. And he said, I'm going to have to come out to you. I don't know what it would be. Hang on a minute. Have you knocked the bilge pump switch onto uh, continuous? We had. Oh, we had. But we're not. And we also think that there are boats going past every five minutes. We say, boat hang out the window and it's the fridge kicking in because we never had a fridge before now on the boat. <laughs> but no, no real teething problems. Rachel Nichols, hello. What do you do with your trash? Uh, there are points along the canal every few miles where we can just dump our rubbish. Sometimes, not enough times, there are separate bins for glass and cans, paper and cardboard. But we are told that even just ordinary rubbish bins get sifted through for the recycling. So, um, yes, every few miles there is a point, as is their water point as well for us to fill up the water tank at the front. Yeah, yeah. And we, I think the trick is try not to make rubbish, try not to buy stuff that's going to, that, you know, try not to buy things that have got packaging that's making rubbish, keep it down to a minimum. Julia Hartley wants to know where Jess and Archie are. They're under the table. They're under Isn't here, they're Julia. Near, I am Julia. <laughs> they just love it under here and we Sound have to asleep. fight for leg room. <laughs> Joseph Buckley, how many subscribers do you have now? We're heading really close to 23,000. Yeah, it's gone crazy. Uh, it's just amazing. Yeah. Since uh, we announced we're getting the boats, it's just gone mad, hasn't it? So yeah. 23,000, yeah. we're really pleased. And thank you all for subscribing. And uh, just give us a thumbs up. 
Stephen on a chat here. Thank you, Stephen, so much. Thank you, Stephen. Regular contributor to the videos, yeah. isn't he? Yeah. He nice. says it would be great to see you wild camping again. Well, we are planning it. We we have said that we wanted to do do Hadrian's Wall later this year, and we'll wait until September maybe. Um, but we we need to buy. We will walk end to end and carry our stuff with us. Maybe one or two nights uh, bed and breakfast. But we need to buy some more equipment because the stuff we've got is too heavy to carry for that length of time isn't it yeah so we've got to invest <clears throat> a bit of time and money into that and and then we will video that so. lynette coates wants to know recommendations for a rainy windy day for a board game oh, well our no, favorite no, board game the for the last couple of years is is a, a an ancient roman game and uh it's called tabula and it's a bit like backgammon or ludo it's really simple to play but we love it, don't we? Yeah. yeah, it is still available. I had a look online for somebody the other day, and you can still buy this. We actually got this for a couple of quid from a charity shop, um, but you can still buy it online, and it is a fabulous. It's not difficult. It's just really interesting tactical game. So, yeah. Claire Pike. Hello, Hello Claire. Claire. <laughs> I think it's the only time she ever watches. <laughs> uh, you can finally get me milk when he, I stay now. Yes, we can because we have a fridge on board. We've yeah, never had a fridge before. Yeah. yeah, you can have milk, Claire. You, you can, can bring it yourself. It you can bring it yourself, <laughs> but you can keep it fresh, yes. <laughs> uh, Moosey, Mookie Moosey, please say hi to Lucy from Matt. Hello, Lucy. Hello, Lucy. Matt From said Matt. that. <laughs> yeah. That was Matt. Good guy, Matt. Uh, Simon O'Sullivan, hello. We love your channel. Thank you. What's the story with your holiday let? We are planning to rent our house out and move onto a boat. Oops, it's gone. Uh, let me try and find that again. No, I've lost it. I mean, basically, well, the, the holiday let was going really well, but it just meant that we were always having to keep on top of cleaners and it was a headache um, it was a headache yeah i was on the phone i was doing sort of half a day's admin every week for it and trying to sort out we didn't have anybody to clean for us and look after it and it wasn't always done to the standard we wanted and we just felt tired didn't we to it we were always going backwards and forwards weren't we yeah i would recommend you let it out long term and get an estate agent to deal with the day-to-day uh, -day running of it and yeah. uh, enjoy your cruise. Unless you've got a family or somebody nearby that can look after it for you, that would be the best thing. But um, just we just didn't feel completely free um, and it wasn't worth it for us, was it? So, Steve Goodyear, is the new boat the same length as the old one? No, it's eight and a half feet longer. The other one, Constanza, was 50 feet. This is 58 and a half Don't feet. Don't forget the half. And a half. And the buttons at the back and the front make it. 60 feet but don't tell crt <laughs> <laughs> scarlet poppyfield we love your channel thank you very thank much you. lovely name sue smith i hear people coming that they don't want to waste their lock water i don't understand does it all merge <laughs> now well this you see the thing is with locks you're taking water from the top of a hill to the bottom of the hill so if you have to really be con 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 minded about how much water you're using so if it's a double width lock if you can go down with somebody you're saving another lock load of water essentially and uh canals like the rochdale canal it's really important isn't it that you save the water yeah. yeah and i think the more people that are using the canals the more water that's going down in the summer and they do have a problem with some of the canals drying out don't they are getting low on water so. kieran v hello hi guys love the vlog what's your favorite meal on a warm summer's evening beer <laughs> no you like um you egg. like i'm going to tell you what you like yeah go on you like a, one of my salads egg salad with asparagus and yeah. avocado with a big chunk and, of bread yeah so basically it's an egg salad sandwich really yeah and i've got to say i think i agree with you i think we just love that and we, we make it quite decorative and a big plate of salad yeah boring really trips with tom train <laughs> Michael White, thank you. It's a joy to watch you both. Oh. Carol Donkin, did you choose to have a bow thruster or was it standard on the boat? It was already in. We'd said to them we didn't want one um, and that was fine. And then Artie came back to us and said, actually, it's already there. Um, so that was fine. We had it. And, yeah, I am glad we have had it now. There are times 
when by washes from the locks do push you quite mm. badly. Mm. Um, and although we were quite good at managing without it, I think, it, you know, we're both quite glad we've got one now, aren't we? So We are. Because um, yeah. there's no doubt about it. You've got a brand new boat. It's cost you a lot of money and you get a bit precious about the paintwork. And it's nice to be able to have that more, a little bit more control. Susan Ledbetter, um, have you always been vegetarian? I and mean, can we see more of your recipes from Sue in Euxton, Chorley, Lancashire? Oh. Um, we haven't always been vegetarian. We've been vegetarian for about four years, I guess, now. You're a true vegetarian. Yeah. I'll collapse every now and again and have a sausage. I did have a spoonful of Sean's beef curry the other day just to taste it. Yeah, it was very nice. Um, but, yeah, yeah. Um, we're not but, preachy yeah. about it whatsoever. We, you know, we. It's our choice. We hardly ever, well, Fran never eats meat. I think that was the first time you had a bit of meat in two years, wasn't it? Yeah. I have a bit of meat once in every four months, something like that, and it just satisfies my urges. And we 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 get along with what what you cook, don't we? Fran does yeah. all the cooking. I hardly ever cook. We cook cake. Once. <laughs> But all the, we have got more recipes, and there will be more going up on the website. But all the recipes tend to be vegetarian ones, and it just actually does make life easier on board a boat, doesn't it? If you're yeah. not keeping meat, to it be does. honest. So. Warren Hill, no problems, mate. Welcome any time. Uh, Keith Jackman, will you come to Lincolnshire? Absolutely, definitely. I watched definitely. Um, Minimalists last couple of vlogs uh, in Lincolnshire, and uh, I love that flat big sky country so we're definitely going to do as much as the network as we can and yeah. maybe when we're done with yorkshire we'll come down that way yeah yeah ali puck hello which do you prefer l-shaped or the pullman dunette well pullman. we haven't had an l-shaped no, one have not, we so we did consider the l-shaped didn't we but yeah. uh, we, we plumped for this but purely because we can sit opposite each other in the main when uh, we're eating. But I don't know. I guess an L-shaped in it, we would have used just as much, wouldn't we? It mm. just, you know, we chose this. I don't know. We haven't used the others, have we? So you press the blue button. Press the blue button. I am. <laughs> Oops, we're getting way behind on the messages here. Uh, Mark Franks, hi, Fran and Rich. I'm in Overwater Marina at the moment on the Shroppy. Love the Alton Moss boats. We always look out for them. Thanks, Mark. Thank you. Uh, we know exactly where we are, and we know somebody that's on their way there at the moment, don't we? Oh, yes. Well, tomorrow, yes. Yeah. Uh, our boat is heading to Overwater. Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to have a go. I have to go. Have a great evening. Thanks for joining Thank us, you, Michael. Michael. Yeah. As an ex-estate agent, at last I hear someone recommending using an agent. Uh, <laughs> that's all you're going to get, Chris. <laughs> Rich, this emoji is definitely yours, little old oh, me. Look fantastic at that, the emoji. You need to get that, yeah. <laughs> How do you feel about Novik 3 holiday boaters? I'm not sure. Darren and Julie Amflet. Novik 3? I don't novice. know. Oh, novice. Oh, novice. Yeah. Nov Novik three, I like that. I prefer Novik. It's great. It's we've got no problem with you know novice holiday boat as long as they're sensible as well. And most of them are. Ninety nine percent of them are very respectful of, of the system, yeah. aren't they? And yeah. it's lovely to see people out having such a wonderful time. They've and always got a smile just, on the face yeah, in the main. It's yeah. great to see. Yeah, yeah. And we've missed them. Uh, Heather Angel, like Fran, do you bake your own bread? Yes, every day. Don't yeah, you? yeah. We did go through a spell of making um, sourdough bread, but we've let that go by the way in the end because it just wasn't adding anything. It was caught, taking more time, wasn't it? And so we're back to overnight bread recipe. And if you look at the website, there is a bread recipe on the website that mm. I use. Um, dead easy. Anyone can do it. Uh, Lennart Jonsson, do you have any Swedes here? No, Lennart. I think you're the first one tonight. Well, wait and wrong. see, because everybody, all oh, you Swedish people out there, come on, let us know. <laughs> Jonna Jinton, she might join us oh, soon. Oh, yeah. what do you think? <laughs> yeah. uh, Steve Goodyear, what Elton Musk model is it? It's the Kensington, mate. Uh, David Porter, hi from Milton Keynes, Grand Union. Hi, David, how you doing? Baz W, hi, guys, love your channel. How did you pickle... How did your pickled wild garlic turn out? Oh, I don't know. We've not tested it yet. Maybe now would be the moment. Claire O'Sullivan, question for Fran. Do you sell your woven wares? And if you do, how do you manage getting supplies and posting them? 
Uh, unfortunately, posting them can take some. Well, we do sell Claire. Uh, sorry, we do sell friends uh, weavings. Postage can af often be late because we have to wait till we get to inside of a post office. Um, but yeah, um, and getting supplies for them well as and when we can. Usually charity shops at the moment or a bit of online purchasing. I can't even find them. They're at the. <laughs> I might go in a minute and have a little hunt. No, please the, don't. The back of that cupboard The somewhere. answer to the question about the garlic <laughs> buds is we've pickled them and we haven't tried them yet. They're sort of um, stashed at the back of the cupboard and yeah. I can't be bothered. You've got this cupboard that's like <laughs> Narnia once you're inside it. it you can't get out of it. Uh, Mandy of Mary Mac. Yay. Who hums your closing melody? Mm. All together. Yes. <laughs> it's uh, if you go on YouTube and and look for Lullaby by Benjamin Thompson. That's who it is. Mister Smokehouse, whatever that number is, I can't see it. Who, which books do you use when it comes to the canals in the planning? Canals? I'm always up and down. Will people stop asking questions? That mean I've got. We to don't get... have to get up. We can. Yeah, but I will show them. We use two books. Um, we use the. The most popular one, which is the um, the red book, which is that one. The, the Nicholson, Nicholson Guides, that's it. which are really good and um, give you all the services and facilities and they're really good. But these ones, the Pearson's Guides, have got, they're just nicely written, aren't they? And really you get funny. lots of... They're really funny, yeah. Lot, the, the maps are a little bit more difficult, but we tend to just use the both, don't we? This one when we're actually on the back of the boat and this one when we're reading about what's around us. So. JM Traveller, got one of your mugs. It works okay? It works. <laughs> does, it re, does it refill itself? That's what I want. <laughs> Bye, Julia. Julia Take care, Julia. Off. Bye. Angela Welsh, hi, will you do the River Weir and Basingstoke? We love watching your vlogs. Thank you very much. We were actually considering going down there this year because we've got um, sons and daughters that live in Brighton, haven't we? And we have, and, yeah. Uh, but we've uh, decided we don't want to see them. So we're going up <laughs> north. Yeah, but we'd love to go down there. We skirted around it when we were uh, coming off the Kennet and Avon and into London, didn't we? we yeah. Didn't go to, purely because... Um, I think they close in the autumn, don't they, for winter? I think they do, yeah. yeah. Right, let's have a look. I'm going right to the beginning. If we've missed you, please put your comments Just down again going. because it's, yeah. it's really going quickly. Uh, your new boat is beautiful, but do you guys somehow also miss your old boat? Yes, sir, Joe, we, we do. do. Yeah. yeah. Uh, she had her little quirks, um, but it was our first boat. It was our practice boat, if you like. Um, we miss her badly, but uh, not for long. We wouldn't, having said that, I don't think we would go back to her because this is too good now. But, yeah, it, it, we do miss her, don't we? Carlos Castrello, I think that's right. Just so you know, I grew up in Australia, so English is my first language, but I'm back in Portugal. Okay, Carlos, thank you for that. Dawn and Fran, stop ignoring your hair posts. What was that? And Fran, stop ignoring your hair posts. No. Uh, stay well, got to run out, loved watching you. Thanks, Heather. Uh, ben Fleming Nielsen, hello, just calling in to say good night. Good night, Ben. Oh, good night, Ben. <laughs> when are you making your way off the Weaver? I think we're going to be here for till after the weekend, after bank holiday, and then um, we're going to make a decision what we're going to do. Yeah, aren't we? we we've, we're not sure what we're going to be doing. Just been, everything's yet. been on about Richard's walk at the moment, so we haven't really thought that much further than that. So we'll get the walk out of the way. We and, are thinking um, of something, and uh, if we do do it, it'll be uh, something else. You know what we like? We make plans and then change our mind. You, you say you're going to do something, and then we do the opposite, don't we? So we just give up and go with the flow. We do. Hello, Sue Harrison. Thank you. Uh, does your brother still have a narrowboat, Rich? <laughs> Suey. Rob, can you answer Suey on here, please? No, he doesn't. Apparently, people like my hair. I think that's what the hair comment oh. was. I think people are saying, because I have a wonderful hairdresser, you know. Yeah. So he, um, they gave up. It wasn't for them. Um, but uh, they're happy now living back on land. No doubt they'll come and see us and spend a night or two, won't they? I guess so, yeah. Dawn, sorry, it's because I asked about your lovely hair colour. Thank you. <laughs> Boating David, hello from Willington. David, how you doing, mate? Hello, David. Uh, we'll be coming down your way, hopefully, in the next few weeks or so. And uh, 
You can help us through that lock again. Sarah Simpson's pickled garlic buds. Oh, I think we might have to have a pickle off. Can you call it that? Not a cook off, a bake off. <laughs> Angela Stokes, thank you very much. Yes, we've got the macrame hanger and the jar of pickles. Oh, yes. It was gorgeous. No, we haven't got with the pickles. Actually, we can get because we're going to see my son at the weekend who's got the pickles, the piccalilli. Yeah, and we've got the hang. We got them already. Yeah, not the piccalilli. Oh, didn't we get No, that? we haven't got the piccalilli. We've got the hanging baskets, but we haven't got the piccalilli. So, well, yes, thank you. We'll get that at the weekend. I was sure to see we them. had a jar of piccalilli. Along with a hanging basket. No, we haven't had piccalilli because oh, right, I would okay. know. I would know. I stand corrected. He sent us photographs of them. We've seen photographs. Oh, we've seen photographs. We haven't got the hanging baskets. I have hanging... eaten piccalilli since. <laughs> yeah, but that was rotten old shop bought piccalilli, not like this fabulous piccalilli. Right, sorry, Angela. We will be getting them this weekend, so thank you. <laughs> David Ingram, hello. Hi, guys. Ever since Fran did the video about soap nuts, my wife has started using them and swears by them. Yeah. Absolutely. Now you have yeah. the new boat with the washing machine. Will you still be using it? Yep. It's different technique. And without going into too many details, you have to soak them first in the water, in hot water or overnight. And then you pour the soapy water into the machine before you put it on. Um, but they're still fine. I'm still using nothing else. So, yeah. And I think we look clean, don't we? We do look very clean. Ali Pook. So which YouTubers do you never miss? Um, we only watch a couple of narrowboating YouTubers. That's uh, those idiots in front of us <laughs> and uh, Well Deck Diaries on a regular basis. And we dip in and out of the, all the others. Yeah, um, we keep our eye on, keep our eye on things. So we it. sort of know what most people are doing. But if you were yeah. to watch all of them, there are so many narrowboat vlogs now yeah. that you couldn't possibly sit and watch all of them. But... I lost count at about 106 I think. We, yeah. started, we started subscribing to every one of them just to, and it just got too much in the end. One of the um, a YouTube we love to watch is um, uh, Slim Potato Head. He's in Canada, uh, and he, he tells us what we call a caravan or a trailer, as you call it, a really tiny trailer, and he's really interested. Yeah, isn't he? he is. Yeah, nice so videos. Slim Potato Head yeah. is a, a great watch. Yeah, lovely videos. I must stop banging the table because the <laughs> <laughs> computer does that. <laughs> Sam Knight, hi, mate. Evening, guys. Late to the party. Sarah, uh, Laura Maisie is a gorgeous boat. She oh, is. Thank, thank you very you. much. Malk Bateman says, what's the secret to storing everything you need for continuous cruising from a leisure boat of uh, four years who has just seen this week become a liver world? Oh, wow. Um, there's if no secret, is there? You just, then you've just, got lots of stuff you don't need, yeah. probably. Just you just have to be really um, tough, I yeah. think, and get rid of everything that you, you can. Um yeah, I mean, we didn't, we weren't leisure boaters particularly before, so we just put everything from the house down in just a few boxes, and we've managed. There's nothing we missed, is there? I don't think now. No, uh, no, everything's put away. We hope to have our first boat towards the end of the year. Ooh. What is the main advice when getting your first boat? We are hiring to keep skills up until we get our own. That's Carol Donkin. <sighs> just relax. Just relax and don't have any expectations. Don't. I think if you plan too hard as well, things don't work out. Um, yeah. Just I, get on it and enjoy it. And just take your time. Yeah. Just go slowly. Yeah. That's what they're meant for, yeah. isn't it? Going slowly. Yeah, definitely. Pootling. Pootling. Robert Pike. Wild horses wouldn't keep us away. Is he coming to see us then? <laughs> <laughs> Did we invite him along? This is just his richest brother. I didn't see that comment. <laughs> Uh, Mr. Smokehouse 6, how many gallons of water does your boat hold for personal use? Um, gallons, I don't know. Uh, it's 400 litres. So uh, you'll have to go and Google that. Oh. That's for the water tank. Uh, Christopher Bradley, are those idiots in front of you going to make a guest appearance? Sorry, Christopher, you missed it. You'll have to wind back. They were here. We kicked them off. But wait till we're finished before you wind back, and then you can go back and watch the beginning again. We kicked them out. <laughs> Great to hear the London accent again, William Burgess. Yeah, go on. I can keep the London accent going forever, can't I? <laughs> Glenn the gas man, just returned from a week's holiday on a narrow boat for the first time. Did the Lancaster Canal, fell in love with the lifestyle, think I'm going to take the plunge. Any advice? Just, Don't do what we just, do and buy the first boat you see. Look around. Um, for, for, for the first boat, we didn't have any problems with our first boat, but um, 
we had to do a bit of work and we're not doer uppers are we we don't do just decide DIY. what you want to do whether we thought we would like doing diy and we would like uh, decorating the boat and it turned out that we just wanted to cruise and enjoy things um but I would also, I would almost go against you and say, don't look for too long because there isn't the perfect boat isn't out no, there, is there? It just, but just think about what it is that you want to do. And if, if you, you know, if you're happy to buy a boat that needs some decorating doing on it, then the Constanza will be for sale soon. <laughs> Project Servatopia. I hate when work draws your attention away and you miss most of the chat. Oh, bless. You can go back and rewind it tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, just go with the flow, Ed Black. Exactly. Um, Sue, don't you watch Robbie? Of course, we watch oh, Robbie. Of course, yeah, there's you three we watch. Fancy isn't there, forgetting yeah. Robbie. Of we do we watch, watch Robbie. Robbie. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Uh, if you want to go faster, buy a camper van. Quite true, Trev. Uh, Warren Hill, do you use two way radios to talk to each other when doing the locks at all? We never have done, and it's been suggested to us so often. But as you can probably hear from the videos, I've got quite a loud voice, so I can <laughs> shout. <laughs> um, and it's another thing to hold and carry, isn't it? And we've just never felt that we needed them. When we're doing locks, especially when we're doing a long flight of locks, we always say we make contacts, eye contact with each other. We know we can see each other. <laughs> what does that mean? Yeah, that means one coming down. That means one boat coming up. <laughs> When, when we're on the back of the boat, nobody goes inside the boat when we're locking. We stay on the back and we keep our eye on each other yeah. all the time. Yeah. I've got a very loud whistle. so. Uh, and we have got the hand signals down to a fine art now that we can usually relay information about what's happening. So, Dave Ingram, please don't ever stop doing the vlogs. I've watched you all the way from the start yeah, and I find you, you very David. entertaining. Yeah. Along with the Well Deck Diaries, Silver Fox Lads and Robbie. Oh, thank you. We're thank in you, good David. company then. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, today's world, very happy for your choice of lifestyle and totally jealous you've managed to do what a lot of people dream of doing. And we've been fortunate to, uh, to be able to do it, to be honest, you know. Yeah. Um, and we did take the plunge and we made sacrifices to be able to do this. We gave up quite a lot, but we don't ever, ever stop appreciating it, do we? No, not at all. Really don't. No. Never too late on our journey. Hello, guys. Hello. More vloggers turning up. We are moving on later this year. We can't wait. We love watching your vlogs, Steve, Maxine and Mexi. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Thank you. Uh, William Burgess left London before the war and lived in Devon. Well, I was born in Devon and uh, left when I was about two or three. Yeah. Son of a Royal Marine. Julia Stone, Fran, are you looking to upcycle flower pots? Because if you ever are in Milton Keynes, then give me a shout. I have a couple of nice pottery ones and I hate gardening. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, go. it's a long way to come, but we do need some pots, don't we, for the we front do, of the boat? We so. do, indeed. <laughs> uh, Steve Handel, it's 105 gallons. So there you are. Our water tank is 105 gallons. Thank you, Stephen. Uh, George Logan, love your vlogs. Thank you, George. Jill Stone, Fran, I oh, read that one. You just read that one, didn't you? Uh, my wife wants to know how you felt when you did your first lock, Ali Pook. I was terrified. Absolutely terrified. And I, it was the first lock I'd done in 40 something years. And uh, I used to drive a boat, 40 foot boat, in and out of locks when I was 11, 12, without thinking twice about it. But uh, it, it was scary, wasn't yeah. it? Our first, first yeah. ever lock was in Atherston in Warwickshire. So, um, well, we, you know, we did the first five locks there and got the hang of it and it was fine, yeah. wasn't it? In fact, and the first lock that I drove into, I really wasn't happy about driving into a lock. And as we approached, Rich just jumped off the boat. And jumped off, off the boat at the bridge and, and said, you're, said you're doing this. Oh, no, but it was after that, it was easy. It was fine. So, Bonnie Merrifield, I fell in love with Fran when she dances, showered in the rain. A while back. <laughs> yeah, fat chance of that happening anytime soon. We haven't got any warm weather, have we? That was one of my mad moments. <laughs> Rick and Deb's in North Idaho. Thank you very much. Oh, thank you. Cheers. Oh, there's a question, thank you. There's a question there, was... there. Are fuel supplies and things getting harder to find? Oh, well, actually, we're having a problem with gas at the moment. There's been a <laughs> shortage of calor gas or butane, as you might call it. It's yeah. um, because people have been entertaining in their gardens. They haven't been able to go to pubs, etc. So they've been using heaters to warm the gardens and barbecues. So there's been a shortage of Caligas, but I think we're okay now. They've caught back yeah. up again. Now the pubs and are open. Everything else is fine. In the winter, the fuel boats are brilliant and they come past sort of once a week and keep you stocked up. Um, and diesel is fine, isn't it, as well? But it has been, the gas has been a bit of a worry. But mm. um, 
yeah, we're getting there now, aren't we? Thank boating, you. Boating David, there's some brill Instagrammers out there too. There are, aren't there, Boating David? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Rick and Deb's in North Idaho. We didn't miss your super chat. Just mentioned it. Thank you very much. That's brilliant. Um, Gary Hobson, just joined the chat. Have I missed anything? You missed nothing at all. You missed no visitors coming on no. the boat, and it's been really boring. <laughs> DJ Soul. This is, oh, I can't answer this. What's the top three records in your vinyl collection? Now we're talking top three, jazz, rock and roll, or classical. I did ask you this on the podcast. Yeah. Oh, I can't remember. I I think my top, top, all time top favorite record ever is what it changes regularly. But I think it's George Harrison, All Things Must Pass. Yeah, you did say that on your trip. Consistent then. What a great (laughs) album that is. And Revolver by the Beatles. That's a good one. Uh, making new memories. Fran, can you make rec- <coughs> making new memories? Hello. Hello. Yeah, more vloggers. Can you recommend a good foraging book? Jan would like to give it a go, but worry she'll pick the magic <gasps> mushrooms by mistake. I've got to get up again now. It's not the oh, magic no. mushrooms you have to worry about. It's the ones that... <laughs> the uh, yeah. Um, M. Jens, do you know what happened to the girls' narrowboat experience in enjoying you two? Thank you. Haven't got a clue. They've uh, just disappeared. Sadly, we don't know what's happened. <laughs> um, we're in the dark as much as you are. Uh, Kia Jane Hamilton. Hello. How are you doing? Nice to see you. 92 degrees Fahrenheit in Durham, North Carolina. Beans, peas, herbs all growing. You'll warm up soon. Oh, it's been so cold here. This last month has been awful. But great to see you here. Thanks for turning up. Darren Slater, fuel boat is next to us in Northwich. He's got no gas. Oh. Well. Right. This is an old copy of a book by Richard Maybe. I don't know if that person was in the UK, because obviously it would be different, wouldn't it, who asked the question about No, that's foraging. universally available, I think. Still is. I think it's no, still but the pop- food for free isn't going to be the same in every country, is it, what you're buying? It was a UK narrowboater channel. Okay, thank you. Sorry. Making so, memories, yeah, I think. Um, So Richard Maybe, Food for Free, there's updated versions of it. It's quite old now, but it's a really, really good. It's like the Bible for foraging. Um, There aren't many pictures in there for things, but I tend to just look up online. Um, But, yeah, that's the go-to book, Food for Free. Uh, Jim Swaringen, what we'd really like to see is Rich dancing in the rain. Fat, I can fat chance. There's I not enough gin in the water. world. <laughs> I'll get a bucket of water and pour over you if you like. <laughs> Maggie B, I love George Harrison. <laughs> Alfie Barlow, evening, Alfie. How are you doing? I'm still banging the table. I'm sorry, folks. Uh, can you show us the view outside? Well, that mean opening the curtains and moving the computer, which is plugged in, and uh, it took ages to set up. Uh, uh, yeah. Watch the next vlog, and we'll show you. Yeah. It is lovely. We're on river still, and it's just it's just beautiful. With the sun setting over there, it's lovely. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Smokehouse, The Who live at Leeds is my favourite. That's an outstanding live album. They really uh, it's their best, isn't it? I'm not a, I'm not a Who person. Really. Uh, no idea why, but she's probably at least twice my age. But she just does something for me. Who's oh, that? that? Oh, I'm not. I'm going to say who that is because it's a rude <laughs> name. Oh, thank you. Uh, the Narrowboat Experience are on Twitter. Search for Art by Anna Marie. Thank you, Ellie Pook. Steve Hoare, do you, do you make slow gin in the autumn? Well, we did make slow gin in the autumn, but we still haven't managed to make it last until Christmas, have we? Yes, we do, and uh, we enjoy it very much, Steve. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you, yeah. Uh, making new memories. Thanks for that, friend. No problem. Uh, here we go. Let's, I'm let's catch up with some questions. I'm going to stuck in my question. electric shorts. you carry on. <laughs> Hi, Joe F. Nice to see you too. Uh, Every Picture Tells a Story by Rod Stewart. That is a great album as well. Uh, Sandra Muse, have become a huge fan. Love your vlogs. Greetings from Kingston, Ontario, Canada. Well, Beans are up in the garden. Oh, lovely. Yeah, Fantastic. Well the spring starts a lot later than here yeah. in Ontario, I think. Mm. Sunny here in Tipton, West Midlands. I am Matthew. Why do I go into Midlands accents when I'm reading about you're a Tipton? Brummie. Derek White, hi Rich and Fran, lovely to see you on your very nice boat. Also, you are both looking really very well. Have you been out walking a lot with the dogs? Uh, yes, we have, except for yesterday when I sat in front of Netflix all day. Yeah, you did. Made you myself feel. Day. 
Doug East, is, he's asked this twice, are there canals in Scotland? Yes, Doug, there are, but not connected to this network. Um, so we have thought that if and when we ever get bored with travelling UK, we could get our boat taken out and lifted up to Scotland for maybe yeah. a year. We would love to do love that. To do it's that. not on the cards at the moment, but we do talk about it. Um, so we just can't, they don't link up now. So we'd have to go out, back on the back of a, a lorry and get the boat taken there. But, you know, who knows? It might be something in the future. We quite fancy the idea of living in Scotland, don't yeah. we? Like the romantic yeah. notion of having a croft in the yeah. middle of nowhere and uh, growing all our food and off-grid. Yeah, we'll but, see. But uh, maybe we're a bit long in the tooth for that now. I don't know. I'm I'm getting on a bit, you know. You're 60 now, aren't you? I am. Ginny, hello from Indiana, wants me. Lord, I can't go back there. <laughs> Greetings from Switzerland. Some of your drink. <laughs> <laughs> this is Coca Cola. Uh, Daring I'll thirty-four. Answer. Greetings from Switzerland. You carry on. And John Ash, you guys been to Stone? We have been to Stone. In fact, we met um, Joe and Michael in Stone from uh, Minimal List. And we really like it. We've been to Stone twice, haven't we? We had. And um, we really like it. We had the oat, ca oat, oat cakes. cakes. Yeah, Staffordshire oat cakes. So we really like it there. With ice cream. Uh, Dominic, oh, it's <laughs> gone off the screen just a second. Dominic Haver Strong, I love seeing your dogs living their best lives on all your walks. How do you manage wet dogs when you come back on the boat? The eternal question. It's <laughs> not easy. It really isn't, especially with uh, Archie, the, uh, the swimmer. sprocker, the swimmer. He gets muddy and soaked. And we've got old towels, haven't we, at the back of the boat? And we just, uh, we've actually, they've got trained quite well on this and they're allowed onto the top step and no further until they've been dried and rubbed down. Yeah. Um, We'll yet to see. We think, as we've said to other people, we might have to have a pram cover fitted at the back. We also so, was talking about getting one of those 12-volt operated showers that you dunk in the yeah. canal and spray them over with. Yeah, or in a bucket the of worst water. Of it off. Yeah. And it's just, just or, to yeah. wash them down a little bit on the back. So um, we've always managed. You can't be precious on a boat. If you've got dogs on a boat, it's going to get dirty and muddy. You've got to be prepared to sweep and clean, haven't you, mm. Rich? Unfortunately, I'm, I'm a, <laughs> my new best friend is a vacuum cleaner at the moment. Uh, Sarah Bolschweiler. I think that's right, Bolschweiler. Thanks for all your lovely content. Watching from sunny California. Thank you for your comment. I'm miles away. You're going to have to take over. I'm <laughs> thirsty as anything. Mr. Gitch, have you, Glitch, have you started to make weekly episodes and what's your favourite canal to travel on? And we have been doing weekly episodes for the last few weeks, but we've always said that we won't religiously put up an episode on the same day each week just because it's that day we put things up when we've got something to say and something to show um so i think i mean for instance this weekend there probably won't be one because rich is doing the big walk and i can't edit it it's all down to you isn't yeah. it so yeah we try to do that favorite canal to travel on well, at the moment <laughs> it's got to be the peak forest i think it? so yeah. i think so but we are still really looking forward to going back down to um Kent and avon again um and there's still a lot we haven't done so i don't know um i missed a vital one then somebody telling us we look wonderful oh yeah <laughs> ori thompson you two look wonderful Oh, thank you. It's not easy. <laughs> uh, Lex Townsend, hi from a dark and cold South Africa. Ooh. See you guys soon. Buying a boat in a few Yay, months. Yay, congratulations. Good luck. I think you've messaged us, uh, sent us a message on one of the other vlogs. Maybe, maybe not. There is somebody from South Africa we spoke to recently. Hash Brown, can you give the Brown family a shout out, please? Hello. Hi, Browns. Hello, Brown family. <laughs> Where are you? Uh, Joanne Mason, hello from Sunny Wigan. Love your vlogs. They've kept me going during lockdown. So many people have said that, haven't they? That yeah. uh, they've really enjoyed our yeah. vlogs. Uh, and so many people, it, it pops up on their feed in YouTube that watch us and um, they go back to the beginning and watch them all from the beginning, don't yeah. they? And catch up to the end. Yeah. That's dedication, I think, that yeah. is. John Foster, Scottish canals are run by British waterways, I believe. Oh, okay. Uh, heading off now, dinner time. Thanks, Derek and Lisa. We'll see you soon. Uh, where are you now, Ellen B. Agri? We're on uh, the River Weaver in Darkest Cheshire. 
Have you found anything to store under the steps? Yes. Is your last podcast you asked what others use them for? In your last podcast, you asked what other users, users use them for? I don't remember. We have found uh, storage use for them. We've got random stuff under there. We've yeah. still not got things where they belong, have we, no, at the moment? It's, it's bit... So one has got all the dog stuff and dog hair clippers and stuff like that. One's got kindling in, isn't it? And the yeah. other one, it's a bit sticky at the moment. We haven't got anything it's, in it. But it's, it's not. we're not organised really yet. We're not happy. It'll take us about six months, I think, yet. Uh, well, Derek Daris, as the solo have been performing as expected, it's been um, playing up a little bit, but they've been to fix it today. And today it's really been racing in the power, hasn't it? It's it has. Been we've, got fine. A, we've got a feeling that the control box might be a bit dodgy. So we're we'll seeing how it works in the next review. week or so. And it's under review. Uh, Pekel Gur, I am living in Zambia. Oh, that's a first, I isn't think it? You're the only Zambian. And uh, following you for the f last two years, I'm going for one month narrow boating in September and great fan. Thank you, Pekel. Good luck. It's a great lifestyle. You're going to love it. Yeah. Uh, Sean's allotment garden dipping back and forth from the Vogue show. <laughs> Say hello from us. Say please. hello to Vogue. <laughs> Sue, e, only been married a year. Wink, wink. Uh, we have, us? yeah, yeah. We, we've been married uh, about 20 months now, isn't it? Something yeah. Like that. yeah, something like that. Hello from Sunny and Still Code. Oh, I always have trouble saying this. Where Sus are you? Saskatchewan, Saskatchewan, Saskatchewan in Canada. <laughs> it's easier if you don't read it, if you just say it from your head, it's easier, I think. Hi, Liz. <laughs> nice to see you. Uh, we binge watched all your episodes, Jim. Well, you're a braver man than me, Jim. Good morning from a cold New Zealand. Love the new boat. Off to work. Rather be watching you both. Sorry Aww. about that, Zane. Thanks for joining in. Carol Miller says, we'd love to come for a visit and rent an Arab boat. Can you rent them? Oh, Carol, yes, you can. There's lots. If you just have a search for canal boat um, hire companies, there's loads all over the UK. Yeah. Um, yeah, loads and loads and loads of them. So, yeah, I'd, I'd recommend it. Give it a go. Matthew Newman, thanks for stopping by. Uh, SKD, yes, live at Leeds. Yeah, we've done that one. Jilly Baker, hi, Fran and Rich. Lovely to see you. I was cycling today and passed so much wild garlic. Made me think of you, Fran. Oh, it's still, in fact, it stinks here at the moment out there. It's going over a little yeah, bit it's here. And it's really, now, you it? go out of the boat and it's so smelly with garlic. Been smelly on the boat with garlic as well, hasn't it? Yes. Like, it's in the cupboards, it's in the fridge. I've used it every day for weeks. Alan Glass, any water leaks? No, we've, uh, fingers crossed, we're all okay, Alan. If you ever get north of the border, you will not want to miss the Falkirk wheel. John, that's no. going to be a must if we get no. north of the border on the boat. That's, Most definitely. You know, one of the first stops. Uh, Danny King Music, hi, when you are cruising, do you see many boats for sale? Uh, quite a lot of boats um, with for sale signs in, don't we, alongside yeah, there? Well, most of them are sold by brokers these days. And at the moment, there's a huge demand. They're selling so quickly, I think, because um, people haven't been able to holiday abroad and have just maybe reassessed life what, with lockdown mm. and decided to do the things they want to do, quite rightly so. And it would appear that second-hand boats are going really, really quickly. Now. Hi, George Logan. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, Jackie Ormerod. Hi, I'm a newbie to your vlogs. Started Hello, watching when you came down the Anderton boat lift. Oh, you are a newbie. Welcome aboard. I walk along the River Weaver most days, but so far I've missed you. I'll keep looking. We're still there, Jackie. <laughs> yeah. If you uh, happen to walk by our boat, bang on the roof. Uh, bourbon biscuits are my favourite. <laughs> <laughs> Kim McKenna, I always see Fran in lots of different clothes. Where do you, t where do you tour them all? Store them all. Store them all. I've got, um, we'll show you at some point. On the last boat, I had one drawer under the bed and a tiny little wardrobe. It's not much more on this. And it's just a case of rolling things up tightly, folding. And we do a lot of charity shop buying, don't we? So if I get bored with stuff, they've only cost me a couple of pounds. I can get rid of them. Yeah. It's you easy, a, you know. You're very uh, good at mixing and matching, aren't you, as well? With yeah, your clothes, yeah, yeah. Uh, Jared Merlick, Merlick, Oregon, yay, Oregon. Have those foxes afloat escaped, you know, Alan, they're still there. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, let me have a look. Stormbug, love listening to your podcast while going for walkies. Are you going to keep doing them? Yes. Definitely, yeah. We uh, had a little bit of a lull, didn't we? But we're, we're going to be back on it. So. Just yeah. seeing you did one on the 15th. Not a lot of people know we do a podcast as well. Um, it's not as popular as the uh, video channel, obviously, but uh, we love doing those, don't we? We just It's just more a, just a, a chit-chat and a stream of consciousness, if you like. Yeah. And uh, in the latest podcast, Robbie Cumming, our uh, favourite boater. Oh, you're going to have boxes <laughs> of stone, throwing stones at us now. You can't say as a short, you can't say that. <laughs> Uh, yeah, he makes an appearance. We have a nice chat with Robbie. <laughs> no, only joking, guys. Chris and Jane on Narrowboat Poppy. Hi, what a fantastic boat. Really impressed. Yeah, so are we, actually. And we're not, you know, buttering them up, really. But we are impressed, aren't we, with the boat? Yeah. Jim Swaringham, what software do you use with your videos? I have used so many in the past. I've stuck with this one called Filmora for its sins. It used to be really flaky and crash all the time but now it seems quite stable it's dead easy to use and it's cheap and it does the job all i need it to do phil mora uh, george logan hello from 90 degrees in st mary's georgia i think we need to go to st mary's georgia friend 90 degrees you'll be moaning oh i know <laughs> just <laughs> he, he gets his hand on the brow <laughs> i can't stand being hot and i can't stand being cold and somewhere in the middle never seem i never seem to be there do i it's, uh, david well. thompson's like adventures with life wants to know he's asked a couple of times when do we come to the montgomery canal well we did do the montgomery canal last year when in we did the, langochlan yeah, end of the summer um, and we loved it langochlan was really really busy when we yeah. were there and the montgomery was just so really, quiet, really quiet and yeah. just we loved it we will go back again Maybe next autumn do Lang Auckland when it's quieter and, yeah, do the Montgomery again. Maybe it'll be a bit longer by then. Uh, Steve Hoare, impressed that you have resisted the temptation of a drink whilst you've been live. See? Um, well, we... we uh, You've got a cup of Coke on the go, haven't you? A cup of yeah. Coca-Cola, but uh, we did imbibe uh, before we went live because the did nerves it? were a bit... Uh, Dave Smith, Tiller back, Tiller Dave back, uh, phone battery died. Sorry, oh. wait for you to contact me about the Tiller. Yeah. Thanks, mate. Foxes, Foxes are float, you can't say Well, that. we oh, just no. did, so well, there. we didn't expect you'd still be listening. <laughs> yeah, we thought you'd gone to bed by now. <laughs> <Yeah>. just... <laughs> In fact, put the kettle on, will yeah. you? <laughs> put your slippers on, draw the curtain, <laughs> <and> shut up. <laughs> Uh, Lorraine Richardson, hi Fran and Rich, you are looking so much more relaxed after a year of downers. Can't wait to see you travelling from New Zealand. Yeah. Travelling from New Zealand. Yeah. Lorraine, thank you very yeah, much. Yeah, things it has, have turned it's now. It's been a uh, so. horrendous year, but mm. yeah. Maggie B, I've got to go to work meeting, love this, cheers. Thank you Maggie for stopping by on the company's payroll. Right, Ron Tansy, you said on the last blog that the CRT was going to lose their funding in five years. Does that mean that your fees for canals are going to go up automatically? Well, we don't know, do we? Nobody we knows know. what's happening yet. Um, just don't know. I think a lot of people don't realise that the Canal and River Trust is a trust. It's a charity. And uh, they do at the moment get a fair chunk of government money to keep this canal system going, but not enough. And they do rely upon charitable donations, and, um, and there we is, always put a link. Sorry, yeah. we always put a link in the description of our videos where you can donate to the Canal and River Trust. Yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, if you feel that you you know you want to give a little bit for them, we we do, don't we? I think still give some money to them, and it's a shame. We've often said that they could have um, scanner codes along the canals so that walkers and joggers yeah. and people might just be able to point their phone at it and give a couple of pounds just yeah. here and there to help. But yeah, who knows? Ronnie Lloyd, hello, mate. How you doing? Hi, Richard Fran. I still owe you a drink from the last Crick show. I haven't forgotten. Uh, how is your brother getting on, Rich, with his boat? Well, they didn't get on with it, I'm afraid, Ronnie. They've gone back to land. It wasn't for them. Um, but they're happy. Yeah. They're happy. Yeah. Run town. Oh, we said that one. Sorry. Rebecca Adams. Hello, Hello Rebecca. Rebecca again. That is the disadvantage of getting older. Temperatures become over important. Rebecca, I think that is the shortest <laughs> message you have ever sent us. <laughs> Normally, Rebecca's messages go on for a whole page, don't they, on the vlogs? <laughs> <laughs> Edmund Smith, hello, can hear you great, south of Vegas. Oh, hello, yeah, it is a regular contributor yes, to the videos. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ed, south of Vegas. Uh, Alan McGreedy, hi from the Metho Valley in Washington State. That's somewhere I'd like to go, Washington State. 
is it? Yeah, I've only ever been to Northeast America. I used to go to Buffalo and uh, New York. But uh, yeah, I'd love to go to Washington I've never State. been to America at all, have I? So. No. David Thompson, go. Adventures with Life. Let me know when you come to the Montgomery Canal. I want to meet you. Okie dokie. Uh, building Design. Hi, guys. Love your blogs. Keep them coming. You, you're going to have a blog date for the YouTube boaters. A barbecue, sorry, date for the YouTube boaters to go to. Paul and Linda. I don't know if they're doing one this year, are they? They haven't. Nobody said anything, know. so I don't know. Like, I don't think it did last year, not knowing what's happening with the lockdown and stuff. We don't know. Uh, Rick and Deb's in North. <laughs> I know. What is the box <laughs> over Fran's left shoulder? It's not that. Do you have a thermal again, cooker? It? It's no, still... it's that. It's my speaker. Oh, that. I think it's a speaker. Is this? A... I don't know if yeah, you can, can see that. Yeah. No, I don't know. It's a speaker. <laughs> I don't know. And do we have a thermal cooker? No, we don't, but we would love to get one. We need to get one, don't we? We do. We'd love to get one. Uh, my daughter, haha, <laughs> you're doing the Zoom classic. Well, you should know, Claire. That's really gin in those cups. Uh, Claire, look. How could you? Watch. Tea. Gin tea. <laughs> tea. <laughs> Judith Todd, evening to you both. Sorry, just tuned in. Hope you're doing okay and the new boat is going well. Thank you, Judith. Uh, thanks for joining us. Have to sign off. Kelly, say we'll be snivelling for the rest of the workday. Thanks for a laugh on a rainy afternoon. Okay, Kelly, nice for you to join us. Thank you. Can you do a few? I can, yeah, can you stop talking there for a bit? <laughs> Sit there and drink your gin. <laughs> oh, sorry, Coke. <laughs> Vanessa Daniels, hi, Fran and Rich. Absolutely love your blogs. Would be so happy if you just said hello to me. Hello, Vanessa Daniels. Hi, Vanessa. Uh, I, I must read this one. You guys are awesome. Well done. <laughs> love your new boat. Can't believe all you went through all those years without a fridge. That's from Missing Link. Do you know what? It was fine. We didn't miss it. It was did we? fine because we didn't have it from the word go. We originally had a call box. And then we just bought and ate things quickly. <laughs> I can always eat things quickly, can't I? Having said that, um, um, I've just finished my third tub of ice cream since we've been Yeah, aboard. you have. And uh, do you know what was one of the little pleasures that I had? Frozen peas. I was missing frozen peas. <laughs> and uh, we've actually got things, ice. Eh? But it is great. But, yeah, you just manage, don't you? So that's it. Um, would you can, this is Janice Waters, would you consider using a filtering system for reusing canal water for showers, etc.? I think it would just be too much. The, the canal water is rotten, really. Um, you get, you can get rid of bacteria, can't you? But I don't think you can get rid of any viruses through filter, no. filtration. No, I mean, she's talking about for washing and yeah, stuff know, like that. So, yeah, I know, but it's so. To be honest, there are so many water points along here. It's not a problem. You know, if you were stuck somewhere, then yes. But it's so easy to get water. Um, so that's fine. Boating David, top mug rich. Well, you know <laughs> it, don't you, Dave? Um, Phil Rustling, hi both. Hope you're uh, loving the new bow and love the photos of Colin and Sean fashioning my scarves. I couldn't get them off of them. I think they loved you know. it as well. <laughs> How long did it take for the dogs to settle into new life on the boat? Good question. To shut the foxes up, just ask them how their sponsorship deals with super dry McDonald's are going. McDonald's, I know. I think, um, Colin's invested some more in Super Dry, not this uh, very day. Do you think so? Yeah. <laughs> what was the other part of that question? How long did it take for the dogs to settle down on really the boat? Really quickly, really, really quickly. Um, absolutely no problem, was there? You know, within days they'd found their little home under the net, and uh, I think they're very happy here. Jess fell they in are. a couple of times, she's didn't she? In, yeah. uh, but she's fine. Um, it'll be interesting to see what happens if when we go back if the new if the old boat is still at the boatyard, see which one they go to. Yeah. But um, they're absolutely fine. Travelling with the Millers. Oh, that's – are you a YouTube channel? Looks like it. Are you boaters? Let us know. Hi from Tony and Hayley in Kent. Love watching your vlogs. How much was the new boat? Lots. If you go to the Elton Moss website, you can see all the prices on there. Lots of people have asked us, but we had different things on made for this boat that's not on the standard boat fit. You really need, just need to have a look at the website and um, and see see what the prices are. Nanny to seven. Nanny to seven. Too bad y'all can't tootle your narrow boat across the pond. We live here in Yorktown, Virginia. How's, that's not bad, is it? Well, it's cultural appropriation. I'm not saying that. nothing. Near the beach, and it's lovely right now. 
Carolyn Maxwell says, why the Coke Rich? Well, he's talking enough rubbish now. If he had anything but Coca-Cola in his cup, who knows what he'd be saying. So we did have a, a swift gin before we started, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, just a we're, second um, there. We're there, being good, bit... good, and it's school night tonight. We're being careful. Stuart, for size, tea cake is so toasty. We are making two at a time now, <laughs> as we've been eating one in a day, no problem. Oh, really? Good on you, Stuart. We actually made an apple cake yesterday, and that lasted until 11 o'clock this morning. It's all gone, wasn't it? That's because a certain person came yeah. around and ate the rest yes. of it. Yeah, sure. Susan Ledbetter, really entertaining. Thanks so much for sharing and starting a live chat. Thank you, Susan. Uh, did not. Great to see you guys. Got to go from the Panama. See ya. Bye. Thanks for joining. Part time boater. Hello. Just found your live stream. Wanted to say I really enjoyed your blog that I also recently discovered. Keep on going. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Frozen peas will come in handy when you fall. For you, Rich. Well, you're not, not going to have any more accents for a while, are you? No. <laughs> uh, Stuart Forsyth, you need UV for antibacterial, but not effective against virus. Depends also on clarity of the water. Love to watch you guys. Hello from Ontario, Canada. Mike Ledwood. Greetings. John Ellison. Hi, friend and Rich. You guys rock. I got into watching your vlogs in the first lockdown and your videos helped us through the first lockdown kept us sane ish well we hope it hasn't kept you too sane john dave, nice of you to join us thank dave you dave r says saw your first video at the old house i bet you don't miss the road noise well funny enough you do get quite a bit of road noise depending on where you're moored up don't yeah, you because yeah. the canal often goes along the road or along the <clears> railway <throat> and you do have to we do move i think a couple of nights ago we moored up and it was near a bridge and the downside is that cars often on the little canal bridges, they cook, don't they often toot their horns, the cars as they go going out. over bridges for oh, some reason? Oh, my word, yeah. it's so noisy. But, yeah, we don't miss car traffic outside the house at all. We don't miss the house, to be honest, at Rick all. and Deb super chat in North Idaho. Thank, thank you. you so much. Here's towards your thermal cooker. Oh, thank you so much. We love ours since Sean turned us on to them. Yeah, yeah. I, actually, I found out where Sean and Colin have stored theirs. And every time we are invited onto the boat, I do try and get <laughs> my hand in the cupboard where his thermal cooker is, and I can't quite get it. But that's definitely, thank you so much. We will do that. Stormbug, thank you for letting us into your life. Live vicariously through you. Thank you very much for tagging along. Dave, I just saw your verse. I oh, saw that one, didn't we? Sorry. Um, Grover Cleveland would like to know more about your dogs. Well, they're both <laughs> rescue dogs, really. They're um, both sound asleep. I'd bring them up, but they're so quiet. Yeah, don't disturb them. <laughs> <laughs> don't shake the uh, tiger's tail. They're both rescue dogs, really. And um, I had Jess before we got together she's what seven now isn't she yeah. and um we got archie the cocker the springer cocker springer spaniel sprocker sprocker uh from um dogs trust in norfolk and uh yeah i don't think they'd ever go back to land they, they just love this life so much don't they jess they was an uncared for dog from a farm and she was covered in mud and smell when you got her i actually went with rich to get her and she was in a terrible state. Archie was well looked after, but he I don't think he'd ever been out. So the first time we took him out, he just went crazy. Mm. But they're both, we're so lucky. They're such gentle, placid Easy going dogs. dogs. They're, you know, they're lively. They get <laughs> on well with so each other so much, don't they? And they're loving Otis as well. Jess and Otis have got a bit of a thing going, haven't they? <laughs> <laughs> Jess and Otis. <laughs> Deborah Walters, love watching your travels on the network. We're in the process of selling our house and we'll be looking for a boat in the next few weeks. It's been a three year journey and we can't wait. Deborah, you won't oh, be disappointed, wow. I'm sure. Yeah, yeah. These are Percy Wolf, a couple of your most impactful vlogs where your bike stroke canal accident, Archie's broken toe and the tree that nearly took you out. I hope that you always have good luck from here on in. It sounds Me like you'd too. rather we didn't, like you said. It sounds like you look forward to a little bit of drama. Well, we're not planning anything for a bit. So. <laughs> Charlie yeah. Wilson, thank you very much. Thanks for joining us. It's news now. Greetings from New York City. Why do most boats have the fire stuck at one end instead of central? One end hot, one end cold. <clears throat> well, this one's central, really, yeah, because that is central. the middle of the boat there. Um, I think it's just a traditional thing, isn't it? Yeah, I think Most so. boats in the past were always the 
the uh, living area was at the front, the saloon was at the front. And, and the storage it, and work area would be the other the end. Back, so, yeah. um, But many boats do have them in the middle now. They're all over the place. So, uh, Does Richard play a musical instrument? Roy, uh, Charlene, no. I'm sorry I dance. I, I do plink on the uh, guitar every now and again, but no, I'm just uh, not you, very... You're a bit better than me. I'm the one that's supposed to be learning, but you're actually better than me, aren't they? Teresa McElvey, oh, thank you so thank you very much, so Teresa. Much. Do you know what? I might have to buy some yarn with that. That's some Teresa's, <laughs> Teresa's fibre for the week. Go and on. have a look at Teresa McElvey's Instagram because she's a most fantastic crocheter. Well, she's got her own YouTube channel as well. Of course you have, Teresa. Yeah. Sorry. And YouTube, she does the most amazing handicrafts, a uh, real inspiration. So do have a look, Teresa McElvey. And C. Robinson, thank you so much as well. That's great. Super chat. Thank you very much. Really appreciate that. David Lang, yes, you foxes of flat and cruising the cut were lockdown saviors. Thank you very much. Sue Harrison, where did you get married? <laughs> in a library. <laughs> <laughs> Funnily enough, yeah. Uh, we got married about 20 months ago in a library in Ludlow, Shropshire, which was the nearest uh, we could to, to the house we were registered at at the time. So. It was fantastic. We had a it? wonderful day. It was just very, very quiet. Just, just family. really, really close family. And then we all piled into the local pub yeah. afterwards, and that was it. And then we cleared off to Scotland for a week, didn't we? we did. And it was wonderful. Uh, yeah. Beautiful place in Scotland, uh, a peninsula called Ardna Merkin. And if you ever want to go to Scotland, that's the. Well, yeah. I'd suggest you go go there. It's gorgeous, it's, isn't it? There's nothing. There's n there's no civilization very much out there, is there? It's just real Scottish, really quite, natural really countryside beautiful. and lovely. Uh, Michelle Lidamore, thank you so much. That's really kind. Uh, need a catch up. Wondering what happened to Constanza. Said Lerd Twenty One. Um, well, she's just been fixed up. Uh, we decided we'd have a change of uh, boat, something a bit more comfortable. Um, we didn't have the skills or desire to do Constanza up any further, uh, so we had this boat made. And she's uh, just having a bit of work done onto her now before she gets sold herself. Once we decided we were going to start on a boat long term rather than just for a couple of years, it was the right thing to do, wasn't it? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Hanu Halman, Halminen, your Froggle vlog was super interesting without motor sound. Keep up vlogging. Regards from Finland. Thank you very Thank much you. for watching, stopping Thank by. You. Your turn. <laughs> <laughs> um, Fran, was it in Colin's secret cupboard? I didn't even touch Colin's secret cupboard. I wouldn't have gone anywhere near it. No, the slow cooker is un under the sink somewhere there. I know exactly where it is. I'll, I'll get in there. But <laughs> so, yeah, that was. <laughs> um, Caroline Maxwell, we were away in our caravan, Eric, and we saw loads of garlic, Fran, just had a tad cautious just a tad cautious of picking some if it if you look at it and it looks like that garlic and smell it you won't it's not you won't mistake it for anything else it's mm. very i won't recommend anything that's not completely safe because i'm not that good at it um sheena Tolba, i'm not a hiker camper or forager but I still thoroughly enjoy watching your various adventures i learn a lot it's fascinating thank you well thank you thank you for watching uh, hi jim from auckland new zealand he's oh. up He's up early or he's up late. Oh, yes. Or well, perhaps he's working and nobody else must know that he's watching. Michael Waters, any good canal music festivals on the horizon this year that you are going to attend? We we felt, we thought we'd we go down to the Crop Ruddy Festival. Yeah. Is it Crop Ruddy Fairport Convention Festival? Yeah. In, it's Oxfordshire, isn't it? But uh, The only thing is that we feel that we've been locked in one place for so long. We were really reluctant to give ourselves a deadline to have to be anywhere we don't like having to work towards deadlines, do we? No. So, I mean, certainly if we find anything on our way, I think I've never been to a music festival. Rich. You've never been to a music I've only ever been to one festival. I've not... Uh, well, I mean, this needs putting right, doesn't it, really? It does. We did, I did like the idea of that one. That was a fair port convention. That would have been quite good, I think. In fact, we haven't been to a concert for years either. No. Uh any good canal music festival? Oh, sorry, read that one. Uh, Ronnie, yes, I do play a good CD. Yes. <laughs> Little old me, can you say hello to my lovely boyfriend, Andy, who's just woken up? He works for CRT. Yay! Hey. Andy, well done. Thank you. Critical worker. <laughs> Cheers, Andy. And little old me, thanks for joining us. 
John Lowe, I used to be a liverboard, sold the boat in 2007 because of a divorce. Aww. Looking at having a new one built. Well, uh, good luck. Good luck good to luck. you, mate. Yeah, and, I hope uh, it works out for you. Hi, Bradley. Thanks for joining. Uh, love you guys from Taunton, Philip Izzard. Nice to see you joining us. Ken Major, we're due to visit Arden American in October. Should have gone in April, but various lockdowns when it was possible. Once I cycled across the peninsula after getting a ferry from the Isle of Mole. Yeah, we went over to, oh, it's Tobermory, didn't we? That's on yeah, Mole, isn't that's it? that's on Mole, yeah. Yeah, we did that little ferry trip over there. Um, is it Mole? Yeah, it is. Isn't oh, it? just, yeah, yeah, I'm dead jealous of you. And October will be gorgeous. It's, yeah, we we got married in October, so it was the end of October we went. It was stunning, yeah. absolutely stunning. Yeah. Uh, what documents do you get with the boat? <laughs> it's a pile like that I've got. It's, it's a, yeah. it's, we need yeah. a library for it. Get everything. We've got everything is uh, <coughs> accounted for. We've got receipts for absolutely everything. It's uh, quite an amazing book. It's 7.45 a.m. in New Zealand. Did you see the blood full moon? It's tomorrow. It's tonight. It's tonight for it's us. It's tonight. It? Yeah. yeah, so it's still really broad daylight out here now. Um but yes, I have been reading about it and we'll be looking out. Uh, Naomi Young, love your channel, not even into boats. Well, thank you very much. Susan Ledbetter, thanks again for a really great evening. Have to go now. Take care. Thanks for joining us, Sue. It's been a pleasure. Uh, we're going to wind this up at nine o'clock, I think. What are we now? Quarter to nine. I'm just getting going. Are you? Yeah. <laughs> I'll leave you to you it. I'm going to have a snooze if you like. <laughs> Andrew, the only trouble is I won't know how to turn it off and stop it, will I? I'll just keep going forever. I think I do. I'll be going three o'clock in the morning. Rich, please come and help me. Oh, what's happened to the chats now? They've gone. Andrew Webster, is wild garlic stronger than the garlic bulb you get from the supermarket? It is strong. It is weaker. It's milder and it's nuttier would you say a bit sweeter than the supermarket garlic slightly different taste isn't it it's, it's different um, yeah it's certainly not stronger it's, it's very pungent <laughs> that didn't sound very complimentary <laughs> ronnie lloyd cheers buddy thanks very much and we will have that beer thank you cheers uh, Neil Welch, Fran, I really need to know what the fourth book on the left of the second shelf is. Oh, my God. <laughs> you must be like us. We zoom in to see what books are. No, we don't. Fourth, <laughs> I am it. Can the tea loaf it? recipe is a winner. Cheers, Ian Luke. Lost track of how many times oh. we've shared it and everybody loves it. It's I just so easy, isn't going. it? Is it this one? Uh, sorry. Fourth book on the left, second shelf. We're back to front here, aren't we? So it's that one. Well, we... We're not back to front when you're looking at it from that their point of view, don't Have you any plans to do the Ribble Link and the Lancaster? It's something I really want to do, David. Thanks for joining us. Uh, sooner than later, so um, hopefully next year, not 2022, maybe 2023. I think it's this one. Tell me if that's the wrong one. It's another Richard Maybe book who wrote the Food for Free and this is one of my favourite books, but it's just a dipping in book. just tells you all about different plants and different plant families. And Richard Maybe is one of my heroes. Look him up, fabulous person. He's a great writer, isn't he? Yeah. He's an amazing, yeah. amazing guy. Yeah. Uh, Michelle Lidamore, hi. We lived on a wide bean, moved back on land in a bungalow. Don't know whether to go back on an airboat. Um, Well, only you can say, Michelle, but thank you for joining us. That must be tough, mustn't it, when you're yeah. conflicted like that? Because yeah. sometimes I wish we had a garden, you know. Yeah. We miss, that's the only thing we miss about living on land is, is a garden and gathering all the food we want yeah. from the garden. It's, uh, and it's we've, a we've actually been really lucky because both of us are committed to this and we've neither of us have got any doubts about what we're doing, have we? No. And we've always said that at the time that either of us feels that we want to go back to land and do something different, then we will. Um, but... We're very, very lucky, yeah. Kieran V wants to taste your pickled buds. <laughs> well, they're not ready yet, Kieran. So you're just going to have to wait, aren't you? Behave yourself. Sue Harrison, where can I find your recipes, Fran? Um, right, okay. I've been a bit slack because we've promised that we're going to put them on the website and there are some on the website. I think there's four or five um, on there now, yeah. But I, And I really... 
do promise I will get back to it and start writing. I've just got to write each recipe up and my recipes are a bit hit and miss. They're often off the top of my head. So I've just got to organise them. Um, and with possibly, I don't know if I should say this or not, but there might possibly be some little recipe book idea. We're thinking about it at the moment, aren't in we? the background. I think, so. um, we've been asked so many times for a recipe yeah. book, haven't we? But at the moment, I will keep adding them to the website. So if you have a look on there, there is a recipe section, isn't there? There is, yes. Uh, okay, Painter, we will be having severe thunderstorms tonight in eastern <gasps> Oklahoma. No moon for us. I love oh, a thunderstorm, though. Eastern Oklahoma. Oklahoma. <laughs> you need a shift system for the live chats. What's that then? A shift system. Yeah, oh. between us, you and me. I might, that means I'm talking yeah, but, too much. No, probably. yeah, but you know what keeps happening? Have you noticed this? He keeps saying, Fran, you answer some now. I get to do two, and then you butt back in again. Because you're not quick enough. I am. Roaming with Teddy. <laughs> I'm a Romanian rescue pup. Ah, oh, living full-time van life. Recently bought a narrowboat to do up. Say hello to your rescue pups for me. Love, Teddy. There you are, doggies. Oh, I wish they were awake, but I'm not disturbing them. So you've got to do the twiddling with the mouse thing, though, because oh, right. I can't see what's going on. <laughs> How can they see the books? Well, I don't know that. Anne said that, because they're very dark in the background. I think they've gone like that on their screen and made everything bigger to see them. Or perhaps they're looking through the window. <laughs> uh, Jeanette Downey, well, Janelle. Janelle, sorry, I made it just back from my second jab. Oh, sore arm tomorrow. I hope you're okay. Um, Rebecca Adams, I can't believe someone saw that there was a red book. All I can see is black and behind you, and it's not late here. Was it a red book they wanted? Oh, I've probably done it wrong now. Kay Janae, I don't know if I'm going to say this right, Kay Janae Hamilton, we don't know how you say your name, but that's how we say it, I'm sorry if it's wrong, at least do an ebook, cheaper to do, but all the good pics and info for us, hugs, uh, yeah. yeah, that's a good idea, yeah. Yeah. yeah, we could do that as well, but that means you'd have to do it all, because I can't do these stuff, and yeah. Pipino Perez, I'm learning English. I like English accents. Oh, but do you like my London accent or Rich's Brummy accent? <clears throat> well, you might not Just know what a Brummy is. Saying. <laughs> Pipino Perez, where are you from, Pipino? Sue Niles, have you got rid of everything that doesn't fit on the boat or is there still some stuff in storage? Good we, question, Sue. We have got a storage unit um, still and it. it's got some bikes in it, I believe, Rich some bikes <laughs> it's got a couple of bits of furniture that we don't really need but mainly it's just got some bo boxes with personal things photograph albums and stuff from the past isn't it yeah um yeah we're still paying for that monthly to be honest there's not very much in there that we really need now so we might have to reconsider that in the next few months and just to see what we can do but there's not much everything else if it wasn't that important it's gone isn't it i'll get to family have got a lot of stuff so we brought some stuff from the lock up to the boat that hair has to go back to the lock up because <laughs> <laughs> it's too big you carrying on honey <laughs> yeah bob says i think someone's taken the mickey out of you with the books and someone else said they just want me to be getting up and down <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'm not going to go up. No more questions about books. I'm not going. <laughs> Pipino from Mexico. I think you're the only Mexican oh, well. person uh, tonight. Nice to uh, hear from you, Pipino. But you can't understand the uh, Cockney accent. No. I'm sorry. I'll put on my best Queen's English. Nick Edwards, he doesn't sound brummy. <laughs> He's lost his accent. Uh, I have lost a lot of my accent. I've lived in Essex for far too long. Uh, I think some rasp scallions, oh yes, keep asking the books for you to get up. I, I know. Why that is. Chris Nichols on The Weaver on Tuesday, and I recommended moorings. There are some lovely moorings. Um, vale Royal for vale, vale Royal, Royal was lovely. Beautiful. Yeah. Um, in fact, most of the moorings we've yeah. been to. Devil's, Devil's Garden, Garden is, is lovely. fabulous, yeah. Um, yeah, there's quite a few. And just as you come on this end of the river, there was a lovely mooring on its own up there. You won't have any trouble. It's really, really lovely. Really quiet. Yeah. It's really quiet. Yeah. Hello from Goran. Hello, you two. Goran from Croatia. Thanks for the live chat. Hi, Goran. Hi, Thanks Garan. for joining. Thank you. Croatia. Now, there's somewhere we I'd need like to, go to go to as well. well. Yeah. We'll See, all these places, hun. <laughs> Chris Nichols on the Weaver and oh sorry we just read that Sean Godfrey hi both after six years of hiring we finally got our own narrowboat Cockney Rose what a great name at Easter See fabulous 
fabulous. Cockney Rose. Uh, thanks for sharing, guys, from the west coast of Canada, BC. Thank you for joining. Did you used to work on the hovercraft in Pompeii? <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> Who is that behind you? I'm not even looking. I'm not even looking. <laughs> hello from Cane Hill Marina. Lulu, hello. Thanks for joining us. Uh, we've been down there, haven't we? We did. Cane, Cane Hill, Hill Locks. Locks. <gasps> yes. That That's was a, a lot, day. lot of locks in one day. Yeah, yeah. Travelling with the Millers. The Millers. Hi, Franny. You're still looming. We've been making your lovely curtains for the boat. Uh, we're not. We bought the curtains for this boat because there are so many windows. I think there's 13 windows. And I just wasn't prepared to sit and weave just for curtains for that length of time. I prefer making scarves and other things that are prettier. So, no, not for this boat. I'm making cushions, though. John Lowe. Rich, I don't know why, but I think I've met you before. Don't know where, don't know when. Just feel I know you. Mm. I've got one of those ubiquitous faces, I think. Mm. A lot of people say that, so uh, maybe I've got a doppelganger somewhere. Mm -hmm. uh, Jenny Smith. Hi, Fran and Rich. I wondered how to tell when to use my sourdough starter. Um, we've stopped using ours because it just got a little bit complicated for us, but I believe that when you add your flour to it and it doubles in size, that's apparently when you use it we did have it going quite well but we've just decided we prefer the overnight bread recipe haven't we yeah so the quick overnight bread recipe and we've started doing it with wholemeal it's flour haven't we and it's been doing some lovely it's loaves fab. yeah so the recipe for that bread is on our website floatingourboat.com yeah uh, just missed a good one there i think well as opposed uh, to all the rubbish ones yeah all the <laughs> 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 it's because they're saying how great I am. Jim Swaring, and how did you come up with your boat's name? Well, we had a lot of trouble with it, but in the end, we just went for something personal. And Laurie was, Laura was my mum. Maisie was Rich's mum. Um, both no longer with us, unfortunately. Yeah. So, and it's a shame that neither of them know. got to meet each other either, did they? So, no, but so. it just felt Laura Maisie, it's got a nice sound to it, it as has. well. Yeah, so. it Laura Maisie is much better than Maisie Laura as well. Yeah, just, uh, definitely. Worked out. Yeah. We were going actually going to call it um, Solstice. Fran likes the solstices so much, don't you? I do, you enjoy yeah. that yeah. changing uh, year. <laughs> Yes, the change in seasons, the changes of the year. So, and can you believe it? A month, and we're going to be on the longest day, almost. Oh no! And then I'll be saying, you, "Oh, nights are getting shorter." Dean Britton, hi, friend and Rich. Really enjoy watching your gentle lifestyle journey through the waterways. Have we have booked two weeks narrowboat holes from the twenty second from Tardebig? Best wishes from Denmark. So be doing the Tardabig locks. Will you be doing the Tardabig flight? Will you be starting at the top or the bottom? Will you be doing the locks as well? Because it's it's a nice thing to do, isn't it? Is it? Nice. It's not beautiful that part it's of the not world. That bad, is it? Tardabig no. flight, but it is. It's a bit of hard work, but it's lovely. Yeah. Been to split in Croatia. Beautiful country. Yes, Sam. Apparently, it is. It's a must do. Hi, friend Rich. Lovely to see you both. Hope you're well. Kathy, Ontario, Canada. Hi, Kathy. Thanks for joining. All yours, Fran. All mine. <laughs> are those rivers, are wastewaters your, are your boat sails on, I think? Where's, I don't quite understand that. Sorry, Pepino. We, we, rivers. We cruise on rivers and canals. Waste. There's canals, yeah, canals that were built for the boats and rivers. We're on a river at the moment, so... Hello from Moscow, Russia. Awfully like Fran's blogs and wait for them every time. Thank you, Andrew and Nadine. Thank you. Um, I checked your Instagram for your weaving, Fran, and loved Rich's pictures too. Loved the flow of your boat name too. Yes, thank you. Um, Paula Heron Phillips. Hello from Paula and Heath. Watching in Liverpool, just near the Leeds Liverpool Canal. Love watching you both. You've kept us going through lockdown. Thanks, guys. That means so much. Uh, oh, is it that is those waters clean or wastewater your boat sails on Pipino? No, they're clean. So it's clean. Yeah. Yes, it is clean water. It's well, it's it's yeah, it's fine. <laughs> Dean Britton, nope, they're doing the Warwick Ring. Okay, that's I think that's the tardy big uh, question. Oh, okay. What is the biggest stair lock you've ever been up, and how many locks was it? 
Um, the deepest one was in in Chester, Chester wasn't it? Where we got grounded we got, at the bottom. We got stuck. Yeah, we'll look out for the video on that one. That was a moment of drama, wasn't That's it? That's the deepest. That's three locks, isn't it? Yeah. In, in one. I don't think we've done more than three, have we, on a staircase? I don't think so. But, no, and, I think and that was the deepest most, yeah. tip that we've done. Um, a fellow Brummy now in California has to say good night. Grover, thanks so much for watching. Ta-ra. Thank ta a bit. ta -ra. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Lisa. Thanks for uh, staying so long with us and uh, keep watching. It's lovely to hear from you. I'll be downloading some of your videos to watch for my cycle trip next week. Can you recommend any of your favourites? They're all good today's travels. Uh, sorry, today's world. They're all good. Yeah, they are. Especially the one I fell in the canal on my, <laughs> off my bike. Sharon Jones, have your dogs fallen in? Oh, yes, they have. I mean, quite early days, one of the early blogs. We'd only been on the boat a few weeks and they both fell into a lock on the same day. Um, they've not, they're much, much better. Archie hardly ever falls in no, now. He's um, a good swimmer, though, isn't he, Archie? He's, yeah, so don't he, worry about he it. He will swim, but he doesn't fall. And Jess occasionally just doesn't make the jump to the bank or slips. She doesn't fall off the boat. She's never fallen off the boat when it's moving along or, you know, it's been fine. So, but, yeah. Well, I think we're going to wrap it up, guys. It's been <laughs> yeah, fantastic. So. We really enjoyed it. It's no point us getting nervous at the beginning, was there? It was, no, uh, no. It's really fun seeing you all your comments, seeing you all. Thank you all for every thumbs up you've ever given us, every subscription. We just love it. And uh, we will keep doing the vlogs, keep putting them out there, listen to the podcasts. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Yeah. And, um, yeah, we we'll, we'll just try to keep everything going. I think so we'll do another live stream. I don't know. We're not going to say when, but we will do another yeah, one. Yeah, I've got a taste for it. It's um, quite good fun. Maybe next time we'll have a bit more of a theme about the uh, live stream. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, yeah. Really enjoyed it. So thanks for sticking along with us, and uh, we'll see you again soon. And I won't be getting up to see any books next time. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Take care. Bye. Bye All the everybody. best. Bye. Bye. Love you.